Welcome to Dungeon World Filler Arc Session 3. It is the 10th of January 2020. I am Ryan the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I'm playing Cavill Dark Blade, the Fire. Hello, I'm Adrian, and I play Sibylla Tree Park, which is the wizard. <laughs> Shush. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty Lewick, a ranger. Perfect. Right. Let's see what happens this time. But before we do, what happened last time? Things. Trees. They stole the baby Flapping. from me. They did. The baby was stolen. Well, you tried to give the baby away. The baby was taken away. Like some kind of weird. Yeah, I tried to give hit. it away to to somebody that would take care of it and everything. And these guys just seem to want it for some sort of a reward. So, you know, that's not on. So that's the, our the reward. Baby's definitely not safe with uh, the, those people. So we need to get it back. And then we stumbled upon some really weird trees. Right. <laughs> like a whole forest of weird trees, and then one specifically weirder tree in the middle. Stop it. <laughs> you tried that? No. Didn't go that yeah, well Yeah, it didn't really work out. Stop it again. Yeah. With a big sword. Oh, goodness. So your sword's not good enough for you now, is that what you're saying? Oof. Mm -hmm. Oof. That is exactly what he's saying. Oof. It's got, it's uh, high maintenance, and I'm like, whoa, whoa. Let's see what I'm about. In that partnership, I'm not sure who's the one that's the higher maintenance, but okay, we'll we'll explore that maybe this week, and we'll see. see Can we we'll just stop? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the U's managed to, after the wonderful help from the like thick wood blood tree, I guess, Mark or Mike, I forget what we called them. Um. I think it was Mark. Mark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mark the tree. tree Mark. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, after help from Mark, he pointed you towards where the, the people that ran through the forest had went to. And then, yeah, he also said if you want any more help in the future, come feed me people. So. Well, he didn't specify people. He specified living things. Yeah, he did. Living things. Yeah. That is people. Yeah. <laughs> it can be. <laughs> oh, but, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, let's make those transient way more transient, shall we? Oh dear. Horrible. Now, we ended the session with you getting out of the strangely artificially created forest and you were faced with what looked like the, like the start of like a hedge maze and you could see rising from the center of the hedge maze this kind of immaculate almost marble looking uh, tower so i guess we'll just start there right nobody needs to make any bonds or anything do they everybody's got a bond with each other yeah yep good to yep. go <laughs> okay okay so yeah that's where we are these are staring at a hedge maze oh mm -hmm. what's the plan uh, I'm gonna have my companion mm -hmm. dog, dog, yep. the wolf. Mm -hmm. um, like maybe take a sniff. I mean, would it be technically hunt and track? Mm, I mean, let's have a look at hunt and track, and we'll, we'll just answer that question now. I mean, the answer is probably right. So, what does hunt and track do? Uh, when you follow a trail of clues left behind by passing creatures. So you need to find clues first, so why don't you give me a discern realities if you want to have a look around first and we'll see if you can hunt and track from that. Let's have a look. Well, I mean, yeah, sure. Do you also have questions? Because <laughs> mm, 11 is it damn good. Left or is it right? <laughs> so, yeah, we've got here a list of questions. You can ask me stuff and I'll answer in th that format. So, if you can think uh, of, if those questions 
have value to you, like answer those, like ask those, because that's what the whole point of the move is. But I don't mind if you ask any question, and I will phrase it, like the answer, in one of those formats. Okay, I'll select what should I be on the lookout for. I mean, the answer to that is probably just any sign of like swift movement without kind of concern, right? So, like parts of the like the ground with footprints on it or parts of the hedges that have been maybe like brushed and broken and like snapped off just by somebody like passing by quickly. Um, so probably clues like that which can at least cover you for your hunting and tracking move but you can ask me two more. Um. And keep in mind you can ask the group as well like it, this one's quite tricky sometimes to get like your value for money out of it, I find. So yeah. feel free to ask the others if they have an idea as well. I don't mind if that's like a group activity, but ultimately it's Kitty coming up with it, even if the players like outsource. Hmm. Well, I think my next one would be what here is not what it appears to be. Like, is the hedge maze moving, creating new paths like that one in a certain wizarding film that we will not name for reasons? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, is it moving or is it static? So it doesn't look like it's moving from what you can see but the hedges are quite high um, yeah. which kind of lets you, leads you to think the tower is even higher, like quite significantly higher. Um, however there is a very strange vibe to the place and if it's you... It's an artificial thing as well. Yeah, it feels like you would have heard about this place, right? Yeah. But you haven't, so yeah... And you've got one more question. Anyone else? And keep in mind, you you got a plus one forward on acting on this information as well, remember? So if this helps you do something, for example, your hunting track will probably have a plus one, let's face it. Yeah. It'd be interesting to know what would happen if we entered the maze. Well, we'd go through a maze. <laughs> Yeah, but would we get lost? Not if you stick to the left. <laughs> That's how True. mazes work, right? <laughs> that is the maze way. <laughs> this is the way. I mean, how tall is the maze? Because we like climb over each other's shoulders and like see. Uh, the three of you would need to stand on each other's shoulders and then all jump. Oh, all three of us. Yeah. Okay, never. Mind. Yeah, that's a bit too much acrobatics from me. <laughs> Didn't I mention you're only all three feet each? I'm <laughs> 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 just obviously. Don't think we have any halflings in our party. I mean, like we could try to see who's in control of the maze if it's uh, sim similar to the tree. You know how ridiculous you'd sound if you try talking to a maze and it turns out it's just. You know, Hi, things. I'm Gary. How are you? I'm Gary the Maze. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Amazing! But no, just a normal maze that can speak. See, that that would be the bullshit I'd pull. So, but you have one more question. <laughs> so, what would you just like to ask? You don't need to ask anything else further if you don't want to. I don't mind if you want to bail on that, but you do get to ask three, so... It's up to you. You want to see if perhaps we could go around it, like if we have to go through it at all? What's well, you yeah. See, you can see it's what's impossible. useful or valuable to you, sorry. Yeah, that's what the, that was the other one I was eyeing up, really. And it's so strange, right, because a lot of the answers overlap, right? Because who's really in control here? is possibly also the same answer as what is useful or valuable to me, right? But then at the same time, does it mean about the maze? Or what would you think to do? So for example, to answer what here is useful or valuable to me, if that's the question you want to ask, mm -hmm. I feel like a genie making sure you say I wish. That's weird. <laughs> um, like, no, no, that one was on you. Um, yeah, you probably want to use something from like your adventuring kit, so you, you know, you could mark your way, right? And then that way you know, you wouldn't get lost. Be it rope that you like tie, 
in sections. You could even cut rope up and tie it in ribbons and tie it onto like the hedges, so you know there's like markers of some kind. You could use chalk. Do you know what I mean? Breadcrumbs mm -hmm. from for like here. Like you could utilize something from your supplies to make sure that you could at least find your way back out without it being a hindrance, as it were. Yeah, so that'll probably be a, be the one we do then. So, what is the plan? Are you going to go in? Are you going to do your keeping to the left? Are you going to just start hacking your way through the hedge? Just in a straight line to the tower? Like, do you even want to go in? Right? Well, it's interesting. Yeah, and like from your discerning realities, like about the situation, you can definitely see the tracks that you would that you would want to follow, lead in. Mm. They do lead in. So. Well, that settles it then. Yeah. What about Cavill? Is a bit perplexed by the maze, so he will stick to protecting Kitty. Okay. So you want to roll defend? Yes, I will do that. Okay. I cannot defend, but I can attack. So, <laughs> I think it's just a sword. It's like, uh, excuse me? No, she's not in the dream team. <laughs> um... The sword's very selfish. It is. doesn't come out of scabbard. So here's the thing, right? Something we can do, right, before we start. See if you just wanted to take some time, like an hour, to chill out. Oh, and level up! You just could level up. It would undo that defend move. But you just could do it. I mean, we should probably level up, guys. That would be cool. However you would lose the plus one for tracking because you'd be waiting an hour but that's it oh. if you did something oh. else with the the questions you asked you'd still get the plus ones for them but the tracking bonus will go if you wait an hour but that is only a one you lose and you all get to level up I reckon leveling up's the best what's the thoughts because you need to convince them to then wait an hour right to spend all your XP's because you all have at least eight right so, yeah. So you could all level up. Yeah. What is the thoughts? Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be here. Level up is a good idea. Obviously, we'll uh, be uh, we'll be losing the people we're running after. They'll be further away, but we'll be more prepared to face whatever comes. Say, like another blood hungry tree. <laughs> He says, gripping his sword tighter, itching to run at trees. Mm. We need his more artificial life. Like for nothing. <laughs> no, because I mean, you've still got your your other two answers as well that you can act on, right? And those mm. those don't go away. You can still get your plus one for that. Plus, it doesn't stop you rolling, hunting, and tracking. It just stops that no. plus one. Mm. That's all. Just for clarity. And I don't know. For the I sake think I should, we should carry on, but at the same time I do acknowledge the benefits of mm -hmm. level. So I'm kind of torn. I'll just go with whatever. Well, put it this way, what would, like, how exhausted or whatever are, is ever these characters, right? Put it that way, let's try and answer it in character, I guess, because it's an in-character decision, really, right? To sit and go, I need to be better prepared for what's to come, right? Well, I feel fairly wounded after our um, Encounter engagement with the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah, is valid. We should probably let him rest. So, how does that come up in conversation? Because I really want to hear Cavill say, I'm really injured and want to sit down. <clears throat> I was going to put a pun in there, but I'm not going to do it. 
<laughs> I'm gonna gain the composure. Take your time, don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. Don't, this is our this is our fun a side game, don't apologize for it. Whew. Whew. I really wanna say it. <laughs> it's so funny. Depends. On an offensive rating of one to you can't roll for shit, what was it be? <laughs> <laughs> also, what are your bonds, right? Let's have a look at everybody's bonds because would any of them support the let's all take a break? Because that's um, a good thing to look at as well, guys. So Ah, awesome. I can do this without a pun. But I, can't, I still kind of want to do this for the pun. Ah, it's killing me on the inside. I'll do it without a pun. It's fine. <laughs> also, Sibylla. 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 I'm chewing, sorry. Um. For your bones, I'm right? See on your character because... sheet. Nope, nope. It's a different yeah. thing entirely. On your bones, see how there's an add button underneath? Yeah. So you can have, right? I'm just going to change the surface so you can put Cavill's name up there, like that. Oh, and, so I have different and, ones instead yeah, of one yeah, under. Yeah, and then you can go boop. Okay. And then we can pop Kitty's name in there, and then there. Because you'll be deleting them once you resolve them and stuff, so. Oh, okay, fair enough. There you go. Sorted. Also, you don't have a human racial move. On here, but I think that's because it's the you get a spell one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, you should have said that, Callum. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> Bark was way worse than your boat in that one. <laughs> Look, I was just hedging my bets. All right. Oh, not yet. You're not. <coughs> so let's see what have you got here. Bond wise, you've got. Mm. That's what I'm gonna act on. Tall. Yeah, I'm just looking at them just now, just to see if there's any ideas. But no, you're actually kind of all okay. So yeah, what is the plan? Leveling up or pressing on? Yeah, I think she would want to to wait. If Cavill wants to wait, she'll want to wait because she does think that Cavill is, you know, gonna be vital in this. So if he wants to wait and regain some strength and that's kind of what we're gonna have to do okay let's do this in character then <laughs> okay i need to rest if i were um to protect you i feel a bit weary that's probably when my character takes a decent look at him and goes yeah probably should rest a little bit actually and I look at him like almost like I'm finally seeing him for the first time and being like, Oh, but of course, okay, yes. It is it, it is vital that you you get better. We we need you for the events to come. Mm hmm All of a sudden Sibylla becomes way more lucid. Like <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Um just making another adventure front for us here. Good, good. The blood tree. Okay. So, if we are then... He's all, he's all gonna make camp? Is that what we're doing? We're making camp? Yeah. I think we'll make some camp. So, when you settle into rest, consume a ration. So everybody mark off a wee ration. A wee, a wee snack. Wait, wait. If you're somewhere dangerous, decide the watch order as well. Do you think this is a dangerous place? Do you feel in danger? <laughs> or are you happy to sit here? Because, I mean, there's... Well, the tree didn't mention anyone else. And the people you're following are, like, in front of you narratively, right? So, yeah. In case there's wolves around the place, he didn't mention wildlife. Mm -hmm. But you know there is, because... Kitty hunted a deer. So. Yeah, I'm at predators. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, Kitty's there because she hunted that deer. So. And the predator bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Whipped her dreadlocks sleep, back and I'm forth. <laughs> so, everybody marked off a ration? 
Yep. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Right, you can. Let's see. When you wake from at least a few hours of sleep, he'll have two minutes. Right, cool. So I don't think we're healing half our damage because he's going to need to take longer than an hour. And I don't think he's want to. I think he's going to take about an hour. So it's like a short rest. So there's no health changing specifically, but you could use any resources or quote you have to patch yourselves up if you have them, like bandages or potions or whatever. And let's see. If you've got enough XP, you may level up. Alright, so let's see. Where's the level up option? Alright, so can everyone pay attention to this part and we'll do this as a group together, right? Yep. So uh -huh. subtract your current level plus seven from your XP total. So that means you lose eight XP. So I already do that now. Change your total XP. Take away eight. Did anybody have anything left over? Zero. I have one. Okay, cool. So Everyone increase your level by one. Uh -huh. Okay. Then we're going to do the stat thing first, right? So choose one of your stats and increase it by one. This may change your modifier. So pick one of your stats, that's the bigger number, and add a one to it. And we'll do this in order. So Callum, what are you going to add to? Oops. Constitution. Okay, cool. Also adjust your health then. You can add one to each side of the health. Okay. And Adri, what are you doing? What stat are you adding to? I was thinking wisdom. Okay, yeah. Add one to wisdom, yeah. So it becomes an eleven? Yeah. Or was was it less than that? So did it become a ten? No, it was ten. It was ten. Okay. And now it's gonna be eleven. Okay. And that's fine. And Kitty? Uh, I'm going to add mine to Constitution as well. Okay, cool. And then you can add one to each side of your health as well. Mm. Nicely nice. Right, and then... Let's see. You choose a new advanced move from your class. Mm -hmm. So let's all go to the, the class cheat sheets that we all had. So go to your specific class cheat sheet and have a look at the advanced moves. The list is the two to five list. I am, and we'll go over this like kind of one by one. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to look over it. Kitty, the one thing we'll highlight for you is that as a ranger, you kind of need to decide now if you want to be the high, like the half elf or not, um, or if you just want to pick one of the other moves. Which, what are we looking, like what sheet are we looking on? Compendium. Your class oh. and that page. So when you're on there, and if you scroll all the way down to advanced moves, it's maybe just below halfway for every day. Mm -hmm. And your first thing there will be you may take this only if it's your first advancement. So you decide now if it's worth it, which basically means you look at the two racial moves and you think, do I want both of them or am I happy with the one I have? Because you get both and that's all it does. I think you're the elf at the moment, so you undertake a perilous journey and that gives you the automatic 10+. plus. If you took the human also to be half elven, you'd also when you make camp any dungeon or city, you don't need to consume a ration. Which is kind of cool. It just means that you're able to source food. Um, yeah. But, if you look over the advanced moves, so ignoring half elven, mm -hmm. and there's your list, the two to five list, there's some very good ones in there. And they go all the way down to, where's the bottom one? I don't actually know where the, the list is. Yeah, it goes all the way down to a safe place as well. So, there are some very, very good ones. Like, I personally think God Amidst the Wastes is awesome, but that's me. Uh, Blot Out the Sun is awesome, to be honest. Um, so I can choose from all of these. You pick one of these. This is like a level up, yeah. And this is the next. Oh, okay. This is like a new thing you can do. I know mine. Okay, well let's have a look at fighter for you, and we'll talk about yours just now. Uh, right, let me scroll down. And what what are you selecting? Merciless. When you deal damage, deal plus one d four damage. It's a good one. It's a very good one. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I would have recommended, but that's probably 
pretty damn good. I, I have an idea of the path I want to go down with this character. Okay. Does it involve bloodthirsty, eventually? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought so. It's very good. Right, so now what to do is use the compendium, find that move, and drag it onto your character sheet. Okay? Cool. Yes. Cool. What's typing? No worries. Uh... So, I was looking at them just now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Prodigy doesn't quite speak to me. Okay. Um, yeah. Font of knowledge, no, because I don't think anybody's gonna, or or no at all. Don't don't seem to be. I don't think anybody's gonna come to me for advice. <laughs> um, I love the idea though, that they were like, they were all talking amongst themselves, and you're just sitting there talking to yourself, but all the actual valuable information as you babble it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, I was thinking in between logical and either expanded spellbook and um, empowered magic. I think empowered magic is actually the strongest one on the on I, the list, isn't it? I really like arcane ward, but again, that's me. Um, I don't think I even saw that one. One sec. Oh, oh! Right. Oh, that is good. Yes, I somehow had not noticed that one at all. It's okay. Like the ones you picked as well, are also completely valuable. I'm um, especially like empowered magic is damn good. Quite frankly, it's very mm. powerful, as you know. Now, things. That, this is a an extra step. So beyond this part, you get if you are a wizard, you also get to add one sort of like a new spell to your spell book. Right. Oh, okay, so the what the one that adds another spell is not as the crucial. best one here because I get to do that. It anyway. just depends if you want loads of spells. However, keep in mind that you're level two, so you still don't have access to level three magic, which means I would hold off on expanded spellbook to mm -hmm. give you more choice at a later level. So yeah. next level it'd be worth it because you'll get a spell anyway, and you could take expanded spellbook to get another second, like a third level spell. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. No, I I think Arcane Ward, given the the you don't wear armor, do you? So would be best one here. Yeah, because it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's so good. Plus two armor. Yep. So what to do is find that in okay. the compendium and then drag and drop it, just like as if it was you know a piece of inventory, and that yeah, and that should uh, just become a new move on your sheet, which is awesome. Uh, at least that's the wizard done. What about the ranger? How's the ranger getting on? Done. Uh, I'm sort of. Walk us through it. This such good options. Right? Now, here's the worst part. This is a 10 level system. You can only pick 9 of these options in total. And that's between both lists. So... Well, I'm not even bothered right. looking at the second list yet. Because <laughs> um, like, Wild yeah. Empathy would be mm -hmm. good. Um, well Trained would be good. Because <laughs> like, I could add on yep. one of the Search or Scout mm -hmm. yeah. options. Um, I mean, God amidst the monster wastes, that's really good as well. Yeah, it's really powerful. You basically become a ranger wizard. Like a cleric, mm. if you will. But a ranger wizard. It's so good. <laughs> I'd probably choose Wild Empathy, actually. Yeah, do you want that one? It's a good one. Yeah. Like, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of camouflage, because that's the type of ranger I would be. Yeah. But it's definitely not for everyone. But yeah, add that into like, your I list. I have a feeling mm -hmm. that because we're not in a very natural surrounding, <laughs> that it's going to be like, yeah, you can't use that because this is a man made sort of thing. <laughs> this isn't natural. Like, I'd be like, dang it. <laughs> for example, like, I would let you lose it in that, like, use it in that forest. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Um, if you were going to stand against, like, the hedges and stuff, sure. If you were standing in a village, no. Well, no. Like, yeah. I was thinking more in the hedge maze. <laughs> yeah, like it depends what part of the hedge maze. If we were in like the fountain area in the middle, no. But if you're just like in a long kind of stretch of it, and you're like up against the actual hedge itself, yeah, right. So, like I would like we would discuss it because obviously some of it would make sense, and others wouldn't. Um, but yeah, it's, as I said, you'll get one at level two because every time you level up, you pick one of these. So um, you cannot uh... pick the same one repeatedly. Unfortunately, these are one-offs. That's alright. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for Wild Empathy. It's a good uh, one. 
Now I have to fucking beat every animal. Anyway, thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, has ever they got themselves an advanced move? And are they on your characters? I think. Mm -hmm. Yep, Cavill's done, yep. Okay, you sorted? Yeah, just dragging and dropping and cool. there we go. Perfect. And Sibylla, did you get yours in there as well? Excellent. Yep, yep. Perfect. Now... Where do you get your one armor from at the moment? I have no clue. Let's have a look at your... Do you call it your, your sub part? Your gear list? Do you click on that for me? Yep. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it must be from somewhere there. That'll be your leather armor. It's just called leather there. Oh, but it's yeah. Leather. Let's go edit that now, shall we? And just call it armor so we know where it is. Uh, I've wrote gotcha. armor. Armor. Done. There we go. Armoire? Armor. Because it's Americanized. There we go. Cool. So everybody's got that. Now have you picked your other spell that you know? Oh, okay, yeah, so I get another one now. Yeah, sorry. So, every, so yeah, the, if you're a wizard, you also get to add a new spell to your spell book, which is awesome. Ooh, and you can re-prepare, so we'll talk about preparing as soon as you've picked your spell um, as well. Yeah, I don't see it giving me the extra two armor already, and I still have a level one prepared, so I... That's because it's not automatic. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. You're going to need to just know it's that. It's manual. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So gotcha, you're gotcha. going to tell me, well, I still have this spell prepared, so I have plus two armor to this. And that's fine. Sure. Plus you're going to be editing your sheet anyway, so that's fine. You'll keep yourself right. Um, do you know how to get to your wizard spell list again? It should be on that. It should be in there somewhere. I am, but I think it's still the same list of the level ones, because um, you can't get to level three yet. I just clicked on spell book, so you're still hoping it takes me to the right place. Yeah, I should probably get to it myself as well somewhere, wherever it is. Bookmarks and spell lists. And we'll get stuck in. Cleric spells? No, we want wizard spells. Where are the wizard spells? Here are the wizard spells. Excellent. So you've got all your cantrips, anyway. So what do you have? Right, so you could get contact spirits, you could get detect magic, you could get charm person, you could get inv no, you've got invisibility, yeah, you could get alarm, and that's your options. So contact spirits, detect magic, charm person, alarm, and you've got the rest. So. Okay. Um, I can't really find that, so I'm just going to find out what Alarm does and uh, see if I go for that. Walk a wide circle as you cast the spell. Until you prepare spells again, your magic will alert you if a creature crosses that circle. Even if you are asleep, the spell will shake you from your slumber. So it's a very lazy way to keep watch, essentially. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah. Okay, cool. That actually sounds good. <laughs> yeah, like, no, you can have that if you want, yeah. Because I could, I could fully see Sibylla falling asleep when she's supposed to have mm -hmm. to, to, to keep watch, so that's probably the good one for her. Yeah, not too bad then. Yeah, I like that. Because the circle would be big enough to, like, you know, circle the party, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would believe you would all fit within a wide circle, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you can add okay, that in. Excellent. I've just added that. Does no. it count as prepared? No, because now you need to decide what you're preparing. Because ah. do you remember how to prepare? Because you're going to go read your, your preparing spells move on your first page. So back to the main page. Go down, expand, prepare spells. Uh -huh. And then you can... Expand and drop it time. It's mostly the next bit. I made the mistake of making everything very tiny and my eyes are not liking me. To be honest, it's just the way the, the thing's coded as well. So, primarily, you prepare new oh, spells of your level choice. Level yep, exactly. So you're level two now, so you get yeah. three 
first level spells you can prepare now. Okay. Three first level spells. That's good. Which is awesome. So let's go back to your spells tab, the sub tab, and then we'll go pick three spells. Navigation. Sure. Sub tab. Clicking. Yeah, I'll I'll sort that out in a moment. So three first level ones. I'll put alarm. That's gonna be needed. Shit! I didn't mean to click it. <laughs> There's also no roll, so you can untick roll on that one because it really doesn't have one. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so if I can only have three, I'll keep Alarm, Cure Light Wounds, and Magic Missile. Perfect. Uh, both Cure Light Wounds and Magic Missiles do require rolls, so leave them ticked. It's just yeah. Alarm, it doesn't need that roll, so you can untick that box. And then that is us sorted. Excellent. Good. Good, good. Everybody up to date on their character sheets then? Everybody? Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. Um, Cavill, are you doing anything to heal more? No. So not even beseeching your healer? <laughs> I mean, if they want to. But I will not ask. I'll take a look at him, <laughs> and if Carol I see does him, not ask for aid. yeah, I I figured he's that sort. Uh, yeah, so we'll jump back into roleplay if everyone's finished with their leveling up. Yeah, that yeah. everything. Good, 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 good. Uh, nothing happens during the hour, by the way. Nothing at all. These are all fine. Strangely. So. So I'll be looking at him, well, at everybody, and be like, Is everybody okay? Can I help anybody with anything? Mm. And he doesn't say anything, but I'm looking at him and I'm like, Well, you don't look too shabby, so let's... Whether you want it or not, I'm going to help you. I am sat down, legs crossed, arms crossed, looking away. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just look at him and kind of like shake my head at the fact that he's not asking for help, but like trudge over to him and and, and try to help him anyway. So you need to click like, on okay, the. Okay, let me make this better. If you're gonna cast a spell, you click on the cast a spell move first. Remember? Yep. Yep. It bugs me that they're not all alphabetical. That is quite. I think you could probably rearrange them. Oh. That would probably be effort. Um, Ooh la la! Uh, it's a pretty good roll. This is very... Damn. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, do you want to roll the spell now? Yep. Nice. There you go. Yay! So how That's does this look? Quite decent. How does this look? This is like really, really effortless magic casting you're doing here, so... It just looks like very, very, very pretty, like... various sorts of shades of orange that, that kind of like swirls in my hands and then just like... go straight into him. Into him. Mm -hmm, yeah. So Cavill, there you go! You feel better. All better now. <laughs> You're welcome. Adequate. There we are. And then I just trudge along and just like, you know... You should probably put that into the filler arc. Like, walk away past... Yeah. walk past him. So, that means I still have this spell, right? So I don't need to mark it as off Yeah, so as, as it says, anything, it, right? if you read the effect of cast a spell, it tells you. Yeah. Okay, so you may cast it again later, but I wasn't sure if that meant that I need to, like, count how nope. many spells overall, or if nope. it just means that I can reuse this specific one. See, if you okay, always roll a 10 on casting spells, you never run out of magic. 
<laughs> which is excellent. That's why I like the system. So yeah, you do very, very well. Cavils is better. Your little rest where you all sit and think about each other for a bit and get better about your lives. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. What now? You're still st sat between a weird artificial forest and a hedge maze. Oh, I guess we should go into the he hedge maze. I was hoping you wouldn't say that, but oh well. I'll go where you guys lead. I love the idea that Kitty's just sitting thinking to herself, but the baby you want's that way. She's forgotten about it already, shall we just head back? <laughs> I mean, this is where my real life orientation <laughs> skills like come in, because I have none. So, without wanting to, my characters kind of get that as well. <laughs> Parts of ourselves always find their way into our characters, don't worry. So I'm like, uh, what, huh? Um, I, I thought a baby was that way. And, no well. part of me is in Campbell. So you, you see her getting very, very lost. Mm. Like, by this point, she just looks, like, between the two of you. And she's like, so, what, wait, which, what, where are we going to then, if not to find a baby? What? We're going to find the baby. Oh, goody. <laughs> Good luck, team. <laughs> it's just like the narrator voice as, as it sort of pans out of us walking into like the beginning of the of the um, the hedge maze, and it's like, "Good luck, team." <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's a, there's a game called Strange Brigade, and it's it's. It's great, honestly. The voiceover dude is just... Yeah, quite flippant, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's almost the Arrested Development narration as well here. <laughs> Don't worry, Dan, it'll be a great idea. It was not a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, other shows also apply, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, he's hidden. Do you want to do your hunting and tracking now, then? And send yeah. Dog ahead for the, the baby? Oh, that was not good. No. Wah, wah. However, what are you adding if dog is helping? Um, Doesn't that have stat adjustments? Uh, I don't think it's a four, but I want to know. <laughs> so it should be in your command, if. Uh. Okay, when you work down, I can find out something's trading. Oh. No. Alright, so bip, and then uh, where's dog? Where's dog? Bip. So, command says if you track, add its cunning to your rule. So, uh, okay. dog's cunning is plus one. So, no, it doesn't help. It only makes it a four. But that's how you work your, your companion yeah. through that move. Uh, mark experience. <laughs> also, Cavill, I hope you know you don't get the one for defend, right? Yeah, I didn't add that one. Good, good. Way. Cool. Just for clarity. And then, uh, now though, would you like to defend the ranger who is looking around at the dog and the dog's like, what do you want from me? I didn't sniff the baby. <laughs> <laughs> What would Kevin like to do? Um, I guess just I'm staying wary. Okay. If there's a if there's a move for there, there is not. No. But I want to be alert in case something stabbable approaches. Okay. Yeah. There isn't really a move for that, but that's fine. Yeah, you can definitely like be like, you know, sword in hand. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think as well, you probably feel like an anticipation from the sword, as well. Like, you know, it is excited at the possibility that you're about to go kill people, so that's yes. a thing. But it's more of a, we both enjoy this and we're both good at this, so let's enjoy this, even though we don't like each other right now. 
So there's still that kind of don't talk to me, but swing me really hard. You just heard me say it. <laughs> and I'll say it again. <laughs> well, I found the title. <laughs> so, you just head into the hedge maze. I don't think Kitty's that confident with her result, right? But you press on anyway. Do you show this to anyone? Um, I don't know if anyone actually bothers to look at me. I think Cavill's too busy looking at everything else that might be looking at you, and we know the answer for Sibylla. So, mm. so yeah, yeah I'm pretty <laughs> confident right now, I guess. Yeah, it's like it's this way, gang, and the dog's like, yeah, okay, hi, sure. Rough. <laughs> it's just a kind of cool. It looks at the looks at the camera, eye rolls, and then follows along. <laughs> Yeah, and then no, uh, she's doing a stick into the left. Plus, because of this, you know it does not have a fucking clue what it's looking for. No. <laughs> like you and it just have this stronger connection for some reason. You don't know if it's the weird ass woods that you went through or what, but yeah, or maybe it's the proximity to this giant white tower. You don't know, but yeah, I feel like it's gonna be kind of Princess Mononoke style communication where it's just kind of like implied with a nice narration as opposed to you know their mouth moving like they're talking yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. so we're gonna do the kind of cool telepathy thing and uh yeah you um unless you want to start like actually barking no, and howling no. like it's i mean it's your move so it really is up to you if you wanted to work i guess um, no. we're gonna go for cool ass telepathy then yeah. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, the the wolf imparts its I haven't a fucking clue where I'm going. I guess we'll just stick left. Yeah. And then off Sounds it goes. Good. And then yeah. It it leads the pack as you're hidden. So how long would you wander in a maze before you got worried? Um, Cavill is never worried. He's always ready to fight. Okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and plus you're actually you're kind of on alert, as you said. So yeah. I guess there's a kind of impatience, though. Like, where are the enemies? Mm. Makes sense. It does. So I actually, yeah, Kitty. Where are the enemies? Uh, up ahead, maybe. <laughs> you mean my sense of navigation? Our number one enemy right now? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm not. That was me. I was a dog. <laughs> you were pressed forward. <laughs> <and> Sassy dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a rough day. Oh my god. What a poor joke. Oh dear, that only works because of your accent. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done. <laughs> nope. Wait, what? Oh dear. <laughs> so, yeah, like, Sibylla, you see Cavill and Kitty kind of having an exchange about talking about enemies, and you kind of zone into the conversation. Or don't. Whatever is good for you. <laughs> so yeah, I so I'd be like, so what now? I must find blood to sink my sword. Huh? Enemies I wish to kill. I feel like Sibylla I... treats a. Uh, sorry to talk over again, but like I feel like Sibylla treats a. Uh, Cavill's bloodthirsty evilness. A bit like the way Lois treats Stewie Griffin. <laughs> right? It feels that way just now. <laughs> At least, but she's like, huh? <laughs> Over the blood's hitting the sword thing. It's good. But did I not do well when I healed you? I mean, I did all the right thing. Huh? You did so adequate. 
Well, that's very ungrateful of you. It would have been better with more blood. And I, I kind of like turn and I'm like, he, he's not a vampire, is he? Like, we've seen him in the sunlight. Now, can I ask, you do you turn mean? to the hedge to your left or Kitty to your right to say this? Kitty. Okay. <laughs> kind of like, I'm not that crazy. He was not, but he was not like this before, right? Is he? Is he related Did he to think Mark? He hit his head too much? <laughs> <laughs> Did you not see uh, like, destroy the goblins? <laughs> Actually, no, uh, she didn't. <laughs> I mean, she saw me destroy the ones in front of her. And then I charged off. Yeah. I just sort of I hear her ask the question, and I sort of I look at her and go, I should think you should keep an eye on him. And sort of turn back to what I'm doing to, like, get her out off my tail kind of thing like no one can know I'm not I'm not good at this (laughs) 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 okay so we'll keep on looking at him yeah so you just kind of maybe like stare at him a bit to try and like try and suss him out okay yeah general discern realities for me yeah go for it Trying to one second. No worries. Oh, it's in the main bed. Duh. Yep, yep. It's one of your your main moves. Okay, so uh, you get to ask me one. This is about Cavill, remember? Yeah. There's a very good question on that list that you could ask, actually. Who's really in control here? Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. I love how you didn't even wait for me to answer. Is that the one you were uh-huh. thinking of? <laughs> of course it was. I love that you didn't wait for me to answer. You're like, yep, it's definitely that one. <laughs> but yeah, you can ask me whatever one you want. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly what, what... I was just slow at reading them. That's okay, yeah. Now, Callum, do I need to answer this for you? Or do you think you know the answer to that question? Well, who do we know that's bloodthirsty that we were in contact with recently? Hmm. So, mm. like, if you don't know the answer offhand, I'll just I'll answer it for what the actual answer to that question is for her. But I mean, you, you answer it. I feel like you can provide a more satisfactory answer than I can. <laughs> <laughs> you look at him. You look him up and down. You try and take him in while he's, like, gripping his sword, looking around, like, you know, after having not really been satisfied with, like, Kitty's response, been like, the enemies are up ahead, and you're like, yeah, but they might also be all around us, shifty eyes under his, like, hat and helmet, and, um, you're maybe thinking, he's not a vampire, is he? And you start to look him over, and you think, wait a minute, then you get that nice montage of every time you've ever kind of half paid attention to the way he acts, and it's all flashes of him and his sword, and yeah, the sword is 100% in control of that situation. <sighs> okay. Well. Can I like crouch to like the level of the sword and be like You're making him a bit creepy. So Can you stop? So you say this to the sword Cavill, you turn round and Sibylla's talking to your crotch, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and that's what she says. Sibylla, you owe me a life. <laughs> Not in that way. <laughs> what does Sibylla do? Does that even register with Sibylla or does it go over her head? It totally goes over her head. The only thing she she realizes, she says, I keep healing you. You wouldn't even be alive anymore if not for me. All right, so see it's at that fine. moment. I know it even. At that moment, right, as she says that, you wouldn't even be alive if it wasn't for me. The sword pulses in your hand, Cavill. And it pretty much means kill her. Oh, shit. Oh boy! 
Like, the sword does not believe her. At all. So... You can interpret that how you wish, because you have someone crouched down in front of you talking to your sword, and then looking at you and being like, mate, like, I'm just trying to look out for you. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. I healed you. The sword's like, kill her now. So I Uh-oh. pick her, I grab hold of, like, I imagine she's got some sort of, like, chewicon or robe or whatever. I don't know. Do and you? I just lift. Mm. Hmm? Like, Do you have a chewicon robe on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not walking around the woods naked. No, that's his job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not naked. That's not Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of just pick her up and actually have an ability to uh, like do this sort of thing you talk me through what you're trying to do we'll see what abilities you got <laughs> <laughs> Are so you okay? I want to pick her up and lift her up and look at her with the uh, with my spare hand because at the minute I'm going to say I've put my shield away just for this instance Okay. And I pick her up and look at her and go, If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be walking. You owe me. Mm-hmm. Well, right now, right now, if I was on the ground, I could be walking. The this sword is Sibilla. Sibilla does you. not have common yeah. sense. <laughs> the sword says to end you. I will if you piss me off. Piss you off? Why would you get pissed off? Do not question the sword. Then I drop it. Okay, I just read the description. Like... <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. So the um, <laughs> dog imparts to you a sense of we shouldn't be fucking around. Um, to you, Kitty. Mm-hmm. And Dog imparts that to you. Like, we shouldn't this. We shouldn't be fucking around like this. Um, it's like people were here. They went this way, and Dog runs off. Guys, need to follow. Get attention. Come on. Enemies. Oh, good. Okay. I sprint full speed. But just, just, just the tank. way you were facing, yeah. The, yes, into the <laughs> <laughs> after the doggo. <laughs> okay, you're following doggo. Okay. Um, how is Sibylla feeling after that encounter? Right. So she dusts herself off. She's not impressed. Shakes her head, and then looks at Kitty, which probably isn't going, you know, full sprint after the wolf, but still following. And kind of tries to catch up with her, and it's like, you know, while shaking his head, kind of like, that sword's doing weird stuff to him. You've only just realised that. And she kind of tilts the head to the side, and she's like, yeah. I just, heavy sigh. Come on, just, let's get on with it. Oh yeah, she's following. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so like you then run after, obviously, Cavill and Dog. I love the idea, though, that on that note, very specifically, the fact that we have another, like, Scots character whenever he turns up, if he ever plays the game, they go, yeah, we should keep an eye on this guy, he's a bit shifty, and then we've also got a character waiting to join the group called Lawrence Llewellyn Bloodshed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's gonna be so good. Um, definitely that gif applies, doesn't it? Are we the baddies? Um, <laughs> now, he's run off and he's followed Dog for maybe about 10 minutes of like running. It's quite quite tiring, to be honest. Um, and then Dog just gets to the point where like, it kind of almost like skids on the gravel it's running on. And then it looks up and it just starts kind of like sniffing and then growling. And. Cavill, you're probably first round the corner and then you've got Kitty and Sibylla that like follow on pretty close to each other. And I... During the sprint and I've re-equipped my ship. 
Okay, yeah. And then you get to the center of the maze, and there's like a massive garden, I, and this tower. It definitely didn't look this deep or this far away, right? The tower didn't look this far in when you were at the edge of it. It mm. seems like this has been a bigger maze than it first seemed to be. Or the tower was bigger and you just thought it was closer, right? Um, but you get there and it's this massive, as I said, almost so polished you could see yourselves in it, but not quite that shiny marble. And mm. there's a man standing in like kind of really nice kind of yellowish robes with like golden like hemming and all that down it and stitching. And he's just standing there. He's got like kind of a big long white beard and it's got like bits of um, gold jewellery throughout the beard. And he's standing there with a big smile on his face and like a basket on his arm. Uh, hello? And he's like kind of slowly kind of half crouched over it, about 10 metres away from Dog, but he's like bending over like a half a loaf of bread, like kind of waving it at Dog. <laughs> dog is growling. I just defend. I wish to defend in case he attacks Wait. Kitty or Dog. Okay, so I think you need to pick one. Kitty. Okay, cool. General. Okay, yeah. Hold on. So, as long as you stand defensive, person plays your thing, you get one hold, and you can choose one of those options if anything happens. Okay. As soon as you describe you're doing something else, though, defend goes away. Yes. But yeah, so you're like there, and then you strike a pose with your sword, and you find, like, like when you get there, and maybe you're like just about to try and like commune with, obviously, dog, to be like, mm. what's upsetting you, boy? And then, obviously, uh, he steps, like, Cavill like, takes like a half a step in front of you. Is it blocking you? Yeah. And holds up his sword. So obviously you can in interpret it you. like... <laughs> yeah. Sword and shield. I forget you have two. All the time. <laughs> All of them. So. What do you do, Kay? What's going on? Who is this? Who do you say that to? Probably to my dog, telepathically, because, you know, he's the one growling. Yeah, and then the only response you get back, kind of through the growling, is he smells of the child. Ooh. Oh, okay. The child, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> and he's still, this like, old man's still, like, waving bread <laughs> at the dog as if, like, going, You want some bread, pup? <laughs> So I like do? push Cavill out the way. Well, I say push, like probably more walk around him than anything, um, and say to him, "Where's the orc child? No, it's orc. It's goblin. Goblin. Where's the goblin child?" And the old man, like, kind of like stands back up because he was kind of crouched over, and like he puts his hand like on his back with the bread, and he's like, kind of bracing his back with his. Uh, the back of his wrist, and he stretches up and like cracks his shoulders, and then he puts the bread back in the basket, and he's like, "Goblin child," and he kind of narrows his eyes at you, and still smiling, kind of like passively. And he's like, "Do you know of any goblin child?" Then why is it stench all over you? And he's like, "Stench? I am very well perfumed. I'll have you know, rude Not elf." Well enough. He picks a bit of bread out and just throws it at you. And bat it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> and dog sniffs it briefly and then looks back up and girls a bit again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, if, if you're going to throw food, at least throw nice food, right? Yeah. Um, and he's like, outrageous, you defeat my maze. And he waves a hand vaguely at the garden. And you come here, you disrespect my bread and accuse me of goblin theft. And he like, Raise he, like his eyes go wide at that goblin theft, as if he's very shocked at this, and he shakes his head. Then how do you explain the stench? I don't have to explain my smells. <laughs> hmm. 
He looks like really t- indignant, right? Like as if like, how dare you just come in here and accuse me of big spelly? <laughs> I telepathically communicate to a dog, telling him to like take a step for like another step forward while growling. You know, ferocity <laughs> number three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like, the, like maybe like the like the fur coat and stuff gets a bit more ruffled, right? And mm. it's um, it takes that kind of like half creeping kind of what's the word? I'm like stalking. You know, it kind of like creeps mm. that bit more forward, growls a bit more, um, and like you notice the guy's eyes like very quickly side eye the dog, and then he moves his head round. And he's like, "If you mean to attack me, you should just do it now. It's very." In- Indignant, having to wait this entire time, or you could leave me to my smells. And he like clutches <laughs> his basket against his chest. Do you mind if we look around? And then he's just the look across him is like, oh, the nerve, right? But he doesn't quite say anything just yet. I want to know if there's any responses during all this from Sibylla or Cavill as he's about to just be indignant and probably hurl abuse at her. <laughs> I am staring intently at him, ready with my defend. Cool. Your defend might not be as good as you hope, given that she's right in front of him and away from you since she walked around you. I, I guess I'm mixed. I guess I followed her. Though. Like I feel like depending on what happens, you probably could defend in some circumstances. It just depends what happens. Because if you're giving her bonuses and stuff, you could probably like get involved in a fight, right, that you're not directly in front of her with. So yeah, there's definitely narrative space for that just to work just now. Um, but you're in close close proximity to losing it, depending on what Kate does. And um, Sibylla? I'll be, like, looking back and forth <laughs> Eating and the bread. Like, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> or maybe, like, cutting it into little pieces and kind of like well not juggling it but like kind of like passing them from one hand to another like uh, it uh, smells amazing by the way the bread smells so good like it's Does just it? been baked oh okay like I'll, see when you pick I'll, I'll it up eating then yeah when you pick it up and you like re rip it in two your like thumbs are really warm when you do it because it's always okay. still warm yeah well i'll be like thank you more for me yeah and like so and, like uh, you bite into I'll, it. I'll take a nibble and I'll like you know how some people like bite of an apple and then throw it in mm. the air and catch it. I'm kind of like gonna be doing that with that piece of bread, and then be like, whatever you do, don't re- don't upset that one. Tell them what he wants to know, cause you don't want to scare him. So just saying, you bite into one half of the bread, Sibylla, and it's got a sweet taste okay. to it ever so slightly. Oh, okay. You bite into the okay. other bit and it's got like a salty taste to it. Oh. Both very you nice really though. They have an interesting way of making bread. Mm. So do you just like kind of say that absolutely like you're like slowly eating bits of bread? Uh-huh. So Cavill, you hear that from behind you. I think everybody else hears that as well. Just Sibylla. She's leaned by you and picked up the bread. Um, <laughs> the old man then, so like the, the old man just is like, look around. Exactly for what? Why Why would I have some goblin child? Because it's been stolen from us and we want it back. Why would you have a goblin child? And he looks over at you and then he, like, he goes to like lean into like his robes but he slowly does it and he's looking at you and it's as if are you going to do anything about the fact that he's reaching into his robes and he slowly mm. puts his hand in and then... It pull- Feel like mm. wolf, the, the dog. Uh, the- Dog the wolf. <laughs> the I knew that was gonna happen. You did this to yourself, Kay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so dog the wolf. Yeah, sort of notices the action and growls. Yeah, like and he doesn't really seem phased by the dog at this point. Uh, or by dog. No. And you reach in and it pulls out what looks like a monocle and he puts it on and he squints really intently through it at you and the other two and then the dog. <laughs> And then he smiles at the dog, and then looks back at everybody through the monocle, and then like just like tucks it back in. And he's like, "None of you look like goblins." Yeah, that's because we slaughtered the family. I slaughtered them. Yeah, correction. He slaughtered them. We ended up saving this one, this child. Why I'm would... very distasteful about it. Why would you kill a child's family and then not? And you just. Like he just starts like mumbling away to himself, like as if his thoughts trail off. 
I would have killed you the child. Just leave it. Yeah, but you're not very nice. The guy's still mumbling as well while he's are talking at him. And he's kind of like looking down as if like it would be Kitty's feet he'd be looking at if it was actually Kitty's feet he was looking at. If that makes sense. And he's just so he's looking, like, but he's not seeing. Yeah, exactly. And he's just kind of mumbling as if he's like trying to work something out. Is there a door? Is there a house? There is a tower. Yeah, I'm there's a massive, there massive a white tower. marble tower, and he's just standing in the doorway. It's like a big kind of arch, like a just like a stone archway, and there's like a big um, fancy door, like a heavy dark wooden door behind him. Is it open? No. I'm going to break it if he does not let us in. So, let us in and see where this baby is. I'll break it. He kind of just looks at him. It's like you, you'll break in. Break into where? The tower. Yeah, and then he turns round and he looks at the tower. And uh, when your eyes move from him to the tower, the tower is not there anymore. You just see the garden. <laughs> and then he just says, Wait, Oh! We... Where is it gone? And he starts looking in his basket and lifting bits of bread up. Are you under here? Hmm. And he just like slowly thing. shuffles around where the tower clearly was. So yeah, what do you just do with this man? He's just, like, just shuffling around this like perfect like circle that isn't like it's just like a flat kind of white marble circle that clearly used to be where the tower was standing. You all just saw it. <laughs> hmm. I think Mark would like this one's blood. Enough of this nonsense! I walk, I walk up to him and grab hold of him. Okay, cool. Defy danger. Yeah. <laughs> With what? Uh, you could try and uh, dodge what's about to happen with dexterity. You could try and power through. Power through. Yeah. Do you want to try power through? Yeah. Do you want to roll it and I'll describe it? Oh, Mark experience. Go well. Yeah. It's Max. Yes. Yeah, it uh, okay. Let me get the uh, thing that happens for you. Oh god. Right. So, I need you to roll two d six for me. Oh no. Now I need the other two and dog to all defy danger. Oh. To robot, sorry, defy danger. Yup. Ideally, with dexterity, is what you want. To be honest, to do dodge out the way of this. Okay. Okay. Wait, what? It's fine. Is that right? Yep. Okay. I'll take the uh, the notes from this in a second, and uh, yeah, what is your dog's most relevant stat? Quite frankly. Because um. Stability mark experience. Yeah. <laughs> what it, ferocity is three. Okay, it's not gonna be ferocity. What's the closest to like do dodging? It's got instinct, maybe. Mm. That's plus two. What is its instincts? Remember you picked those. It's plus two. No, I mean, what were they? Um. Because you picked quick those. reflexes, intimidating, stealthy. Why'd you have three if it was a plus two? Because there was. I could add something on at some point. I can't remember why. Because when you build your animal, you pick as many instincts as it has. So if you have a plus two as your stat, you'd pick two instincts. Hmm. Mm. No, that I did get something else. Mm. That's okay. Let's have a look. We'll just do it just now. Ranger. There's no harm in learning stuff. Don't worry. Let's have a look. Ranger, ranger, ranger. Let's look at your dog. So you picked the bottom line, right? Which is instinct plus mm -hmm. two. So as many weaknesses as this instinct. So what did you pick for your two weaknesses? Savage and frightening. Savage and frightening. That's okay. It doesn't matter. And what was the cunning that you chose? If, uh, it was fight monsters, wasn't it? Yeah, fight monsters. Fight monsters. Okay, cool. Um, roll a 2d6 for me. Oh. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, it's not great. 
So your doggo would have marked uh, XP as well if it if it even did such a thing, which it doesn't. <laughs> so the here's the tough choice, right? So let's throw this all in the one. So Kitty, you can get out the way of this, and I'll describe it in a second, but it will be ducking behind the dog. And the dog's gonna get hit badly because of its role. Or can I you jump can, in front of it? Or you can take the hit for both. Yeah. Um, I take the hit. And the same for this, uh, Adri, you how to word this. You need to lose something that gets caught in this, right? And you can tell me what it is in a second, but you need to lose an item of some kind um, in addition to the damage you're about to take because of the roll that you got. Sure. Okay. Okay. Because um, I don't want to do more damage than this. But the damage is the seven that Cavill's taken, sure. right? No, it's not for you. This is for Cavill. Can I take seven, yeah? Yep. You take seven. Okay. Uh, you lose grip of your sword. Oh no. The sword did not like this. And what we see is as Cavill kind of goes to lunge into this guy to grab him, uh, there's just the man just turns round in like a kind of weird fluid motion. And from like the golden glittery robe, there's just this wall of fire that flashes out from him. And it just blasts Cavill. So that's um, seven damage that bypasses armor, Cavill. Yeah, uh, I, I've already put seven on. Cool. This is also you, Kitty. I need you to roll 2d6, and that'll be the damage you take. Cool. And we're going to add plus one for Doggo. Mm hmm. So six in total. Yeah, exactly. And that bypasses your armor as well. Mm hmm. And then, Sabella, do you want to give me a 2d6 roll? And that's the damage you take, and tell me the item you're losing. 2d6, okay. Because whatever it is, you kind of like have the item and you try and like defend yourself with that in some way. You're going to take 7 damage. It and would have. That bypasses all your armor as well. Okay, so it ignores the it, armor. It ignores armor okay. because it is a fireball, yeah. Sure. In that case, I could have probably tried to put the, little, the, the bits of the staff like. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Like, in front of me. Yeah, because you probably would still be holding them like, was, under your arm or something. Hoping, yeah. yeah, yeah, I was hoping to fix it and then, you know... Yeah, you can lose that, yeah, that's fine. That. Mm -hmm. That's an item you can lose. And then the man just stands there as like this fire kind of like dies back. So you, there's still a good, maybe, there's now, I don't know, 20 feet between Cavill and the man now. Um, and like the fire all just like licks up off the ground into the air and just like dissipates it and there's like no smoke or anything nothing at all it just like it's perfect and uh, the man standing there with his basket under his arm his beard kind of like flailing gently in wind that just suddenly appeared for some reason and his robes <laughs> are all kind of like fluttering in the opposite direction from his beard and he's standing there and he's like how dare you come in to my garden and attack me how dare you steal what is ours? As you can see, and he kind of gestures with his hand that it isn't holding the basket. I don't have anything of yours. No, because you illusioned it away. I illusioned it away? Well, there was a tower there a minute ago, and now there isn't. I don't ever remember there being a tower here. You must be mistaken. Oh, I really want to punch this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like dog's still growling behind you and yeah you can move over like it's probably just in between you and him and like as you like go to get the sword he lifts his hand and he's like uh uh, -uh. what do you do I will pick up my sword but I won't attack you if that is what you're wondering are you a man of your word brigand Indeed. Then retrieve your weapon. I pop it up and sheave it. <laughs> As you touch the handle, the sword is disgusted with you. 
How dare you? How dare you drop it? <laughs> I just look at the sword and go, shut up! And, his sheep. <laughs> and then, as like you sheath it and it locks in there, you have the strong sensation that it's a, we can't let this guy live. Like he has seen us look bad. <laughs> But it's not so much a, oh god, I'm embarrassed, it's a, he has slighted us, how dare he? Um, Am I? Yeah, the sword is arrogant as fuck, yeah. Yep. No, really? <laughs> Actually, yes. Um, so, what do you Tell do? Tell not happy, he's just a... Uh, yeah, so like, do you... What, time. what do you do then? Because you look like you're... If anything, though, your armour looks cool and charred now, which is awesome. Never mind all the acid that happened to it before. <laughs> even with like the f like it being chance, I just, I don't look phased, even though I'm injured mm -hmm. and it hurts a lot. But yeah, you don't show that. But you're badass, right? Tough, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's badass. Mm -hmm. Um, so the man kind of like waves his hand dismissively at you once you've sheathed your blade, and he says, "Good to see one of you has some sense." And he turns to Kitty and the doggo. And he like leans in and he gets bread out and he just starts waving it at the dog again behind you. Why are you here? And he like he stops and he like tilts his head up because he was like kind of crouched over again, like to try and like interact with the dog. And he just looks up at you. And he's like all kind of like weird old man, like fades away from him. And he stands back up straight and looks at you. And he's like. He just takes a bite of the bread, he just chews it, and bits of crumbs fall down his beard and stuff. And he's like, why are you here? We're searching for something that's been taken from us. Okay, so you come here and attack me because you think I've got it because your dog quit smelling some weird things? Huh? Yeah. Pretty much. So what, I smell weird? Yep. He kind of like looks left and then like looks right. You don't have the baby. Where is it? And starts chewing on the bread. So, how am I supposed to know? Then why do you smell of it? Why do you smell like a goblin child? He kind of looks at you. And he looks at Cavill. And he looks at the dog. And he looks back at Kay. He's like, what did this child smell of? Goblins. Self? What was that? Sorry, Adrian. Itself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sheep wool. It was covered in sheep wool. Mm. And it was in a box. So, do you smell like a box? No. But this is sheep's wool I'm wearing. I just face Where'd you get it? And he looks like mouth jaw dropped when you say that. And he kind of looks at Kitty who's face palming. And he's like, he looks back at Sibylla and closes his mouth. And he's like, sheep. Oh. Dog, you're a bad wolf. You're tracking sheep instead of the baby. I think the wolf just glances back at him and growls. <laughs> yeah, and don't. like... Now oh, there, oh. there, don't be grumpy. It is your mistake, after all. So the dog... will bite you. The dog, like, growls, obviously, as he described, but then looks back at you in, like, a very quick glance, then staring right back at him. And the message it says to you is, It's the child. I know sheep. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, the specific goblin child has a very specific scent, and Dog here has scented that scent on you. It's not sheep. Dog knows what sheep smells like. And Please you explain. And you trust your dog over 
a stranger you have assaulted. I look at him like, did you actually just ask me that? And he slowly just finishes, like, pushes the bits of bread that he's got left over in his mouth. This dog has been my companion since I was a teenager. We've grown together. We trust each other. We put our lives on the line for each other. I'm going to trust that nose over you. And he looks at the other two. And he says, And what have you two? This creature here trusts her pet dog, which is clearly a wolf, by the way. <laughs> over no, 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 me. No, 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 no. The name is Dog. We know it's a wolf. Duh. And he just looks at you like deadpan and then just turns his full body to cavil. He says, As I was saying. <laughs> I do not trust you, warlock. Warlock? Is there a war? Am I at war? Or use my enemy? And he looks like really f- like that full it. shock where he, like he puts his hand on his chest like oh, is there a war? And like moves his whole body animatedly <laughs> side to side. I just throw my hands up in the air. Yo, what is it then? <laughs> the like dog howls. Oh, as well. <laughs> and uh, he's like I may admit I practice magic, yes, but be careful with the words you throw around. This place is particular. Can I discern realities? <laughs> yeah, on what? <laughs> <laughs> on the area. And on, him. On, on the area and him. Um, yes. No. Do you have to pick one? Yeah. The area. Cool. Because the, that's the difference of like doing a perception or investigate check versus an insight check, like if I use D&D terms, so yes. Mm -hmm. So you want it on the area? Yes. Okay. Do some discerning. Yep. So, mark experience. Nice. Go. Cool. Your sword's in your hand. No, it's a sheep. No. <gasps> what? Your sword's in your hand and you've taken one step forward. The man oh. immediately like drops the basket and has both hands out. So he's got one hand like at you as if you were like maybe more to his left. And then the other hand that covers like the three of them that are in like the kind of entrance way from the maze. And it's like Am I to believe this is the war you spoke of? His eyes are dark it's between the two of you. And you have no idea why you're holding the, the sword and you've taken that one step and maybe it's the step when he moves his hand you're like, wait, what? Oh god, I have the sword. <laughs> I just blink and shake my head and look at you're the sword. Not even, you're not holding your shield. You're literally two-handing the sword. I just look at the sword like, again? I say it out loud. You say what I like, sorry? Again? As I'm staring at the sword. You are a curious bunch, aren't you? Someone whose mind is clearly addled. Also, Sibylla. <laughs> and he <laughs> says that. And then he turns back. And this one, who seems to consort with his sword. My favourite so far is still the dog. <laughs> He's still got his wizard hands up. <laughs> what do you do? I imagine his I'm name struggling is to dog, it's just a wolf. I love that none of you's comment on the fact that you said Sibylla. I was thinking that. Yep. How do you know her yeah. name? Did any of you call it just now? No? No. Okay, no. No. Oh, no, no. Hey, how do you know my name? And he just kind of like looks at you and he smirks. You're not the only one with tricks, witch. I see your game. Hey, there's no no need for, for name calling. And his hands drop to his sides like, really? <laughs> 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 like the hand solo, like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then his hands okay, go back like up. I said, I'm going to play her like she's special. Oh no, yeah, totally. Yeah. But this guy's yeah. like, you come into my garden, you beat up me, you look for my tower. <laughs> just because I smell of sheep. Yeah, he just wanted... But yeah, so he says it anyway, he calls you a witch, you say no need for name calling. He says, really? Shrugs, he puts his hands back up. What are you doing? Especially since you know my name. <laughs> I am concentrated on my sword. Okay, it's, uh, to what end? To the point of, I'm like, How, what the fuck, why did you take over me here? Like, I know why he wants to kill, like, he, the sword, wants to kill Mr. Wizardman. Mm. So, if you're doing that then, so there's a moment where you obviously are like, what are you doing, sword? And it's like, we kill him, our glory grows. In like, it's, it's like, in no way is it like any sensible, right? Like, it's in, in no way sensible. Also, only that goes to, to Cavill, obviously. Um, so what are you saying, Sibylla? I was saying, like, why when when they mentioned, like, killing him? No, 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 why? Why would they do that? So his sword spoke to him, only he heard that. Killing him or, sh or glory grows, that was all. Apologies, sorry, sword, I no? thought it was the old man. No, it's okay. I know he's weird too, right? The sword's <laughs> weird, he's weird, it's fine. Um. So he's there in his defensive pose with his hands up, kind of being like, who's going to make the next move here? Because my bread's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Good bread. And he just kind of says, thank you, like absentmindedly, then he kind of pays more attention to between like Kitty and uh, Cavill. So what's Kitty doing? Kitty seems to be in the, in the middle of this mess, quiet. I just don't really know what to do. It's like, clearly I'm not getting anywhere with this dude. But he stinks of the freaking goblin child. Yeah, right. And the dog's like, I know sheep, trust me. <laughs> 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 I'm a wolf, I know that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, and obviously you trust dog, so it makes yep. sense. <laughs> Cavill smirks a bit. And looks at the wizard. The sword says you had the baby. Are you lying to me? <laughs> you get this look like, okay. And then um, the man's like, and his hands go back down again. And he's like, so, your sword says I have your stolen baby. Her dog wolf says I have your stolen baby. I'm here with no stolen baby. And he just looks at his back. They're not saying you have it now. They're saying you had it. Yeah, you stink of it. But we cannot see it. So that's why we ask, where? Did you make it invisible? And he's just looking between all of you, like not really sure what <laughs> the fuck his day has become. And then... Uh, <laughs> I think it's about time you were on your way, travellers. Let's be polite and leave it there, shall we? Well, if you don't have the child, then why are you being so cagey about it? Tell us where it's gone. How can I be acting cagey about something I know nothing of? Then your man here, he gestures towards Cavill, ran at me with a sword. One which speaks to him of killing me. Yeah, it's been pretty accurate on killing stuff. That's what George do! Do they normally speak to people? Clearly his does. <laughs> that or... And he kind of like taps the side of his head and kind of nods towards Cavill, but looks at UK. <laughs> I'm just sort of like... Eh. And he quit like, like a, a quit, slight yeah, shrug. Like, yeah. And like <laughs> as you as you're doing that, he kinda like lifts his monocle very briefly up and kinda looks at Cavill and pops it back in again <laughs> into his robe. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and he's looking at all of you and he's like so must this come to blows again or are we done for this look we just want to know why you smell like a goblin child and then we'll leave you be I see it was unfortunate and he kind of like his lips kind of like go thin and he he kind of looks between all of you and yeah can everybody a defy danger uh hell <laughs> Um, Are we let's, uh, give me two seconds, guys, and I'll let you know what you can do with. Um, we'll see what makes the most okay. sense. If it's an attack, I will endure it. We've gone. Cool. I'm gonna go for. Okay. So, I am. Um, can. I kind of yes. want. Con or wisdom, but mostly con. <laughs> yeah, that's my con. Okay. Cool. So, okay. Wow. Well, it's plus one because of dog. It's not. Is it not? No. You can't use dog for this. Oh. I mean,. Because you failed the roll, I'll tell you in a second that you can use dog for this. Not as a shield, I'm not. But, uh, yeah, okay, so. And Sibylla and Cavill don't have to worry about this at all. But, and I think it kind of works perfectly as to why, but we'll, we'll go from there. So, you've marked your XP, and I need you to take a d4 in damage. Your armor will reduce this. Alright, so cool. <laughs> No damage. Right. Yeah. You follow you fall asleep. Okay. I used both. <laughs> Notice him just like wave his hands very quickly and loads of glitter flies out and covers all three pretty. of you. And it does, it looks very, very pretty, this kind of golden shimmer that goes out. And then obviously Cavill's armor just becomes sparkly. And <laughs> uh, Rage And then uh, <laughs> Sibylla, like, well, that's an improvement. And Sibylla, like, you just probably are just oh, pretty, but like, you just stay awake through it. Um, mm -hmm. Probably because it's magical, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. So he does that, and obviously, Kitty KOs. <laughs> With that, seeing Kitty KO, to me, that's an attack. So I will respond in kind. Okay, go for it. With a hack and slash. <gasps> a hack and slash? I would never have guessed. <laughs> Plus the D four because I'm merciless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you can you can actually add that into your attack roll by the way if you edit hack and slash. I think maybe I made that up, but I think you can. Um, if not, you think you should be able to add a roll. Roll strength plus zero. Click on merciless because maybe it's got a roll built into it because it, you can make it have. Right, okay, let's edit merciless and add a roll for it, and it's one D four. I don't know how you edit. Oh, modify. There you go. Nope. Nope. Oh, click roll. What would it be? Strength? Uh, no. Uh, just 1d4, right? Let me have a look at that. Let's see. Merciless roll. And it is. Can. Will, it, will roll. this let me type that? Nah, it won't let me type that. Interesting. Can we. There must be a way to do that. Let's make it a spell. Right, so you can close this off because there's no rule for that there. I'll go to sub and then we'll add a spell. You can call it merciless and we'll click 1d4. Oh, I clicked hack and slash when I should have clicked life drinker. Because we made a life drinker spell, don't we? We did. Because it adds plus one damage as well. It's okay. We'll, we'll count what you've rolled unless you really want to roll again. I mean, I feel like it's better game you roll it again. Mm. Kind of is. I don't want to do it because I don't want to meta game. Then don't. We'll just add one to the eight. Okay, there's that. Okay, but you also still need to now, like, make your merciless move in that spell that I built. 
Wait, you built a spell? Yeah. So. What? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I see. Spell Merciless. You can, you can click on that now. There you go. Yeah, awesome. So that's 10 damage total, right? Yes. Cool. Let me do my thing on this side. Just now. Where is the thing that I need? Okay, cool. So that happens and yeah. You lunge forward and describe your attack because you see blood with this attack. Oh, hang on. Uh, let me all equip my shield because that's not equipped. <coughs> uh, no, that's since like my sword you. is in two hands, I literally uh, lunge forward, and with my shoulder about my head height, I just thrust it forward into him. Yeah. Straight into his chest. Yeah, and like as you like go in, you can see like he's pulling like magic around um, from his stomach and stuff, um, and like the kind of golden shimmer of his robes uh, all seems like vortex to almost like try and brace himself against your sword hit. Um, and then you see him like wince in pain and you pull the sword back out and obviously blood splatters. Yes. Yeah. Sword is happy. The the sword thinks you can do better. <coughs> yeah, probably could to be fair. Yeah. So, what about you, uh Sibylla? I'll I'll be quite oh come on, did you have to do that? What to careful? Just in general, but yeah. And um she'll be like well, I'll be like they're there they need to kill the man. He's granted not cooperating, but you don't have to kill him. Like as he like coughs blood and wipes it away from his mouth, he's like, See, listen to the smart one. As he like, points very abruptly as he's holding his stomach at uh, Sibylla. The next one will be harder and heavier. Tell me where the goblin baby is. And then he, like, if he's not telling you now, I don't think he actually knows. Uh, you know, I'm looking at him holding his guts and everything. Uh, he's like coughing and spluttering. Um, dog pretty much just barks and then nuzzles you till you wake up, Kay. So, mm. <laughs> unbeknownst to you, you come back to the world of the conscious. <laughs> with with dog oh, in your face. On? What <laughs> happened? Cavill's done a cavil. Oh, I just took a nap. I had this horrible dream where we were chasing some stupid goblin baby. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I didn't even want to rescue, but then I had there was a bounty, and I had to get the money for it first. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, that's what was we're actually so doing. Loud? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what we're actually doing. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, so you wake back up. You doing anything? Or just getting up? Just getting up. Yeah. Petting dog. I'm okay, don't worry. And then it looks like kind of concerned at both of them. Like this has escalated clearly. And uh Yeah. But Cavill has gone. Cavill's gone and attacked him, of course. Not for bad reason. He attacked Kitty, with a magical I spell. was defending myself, and it was a very passive spell, you'll have to admit. You didn't even look, you know, particularly grateful for the nap, but you're welcome. Just look at him like... You have blood oh, dripping you down his beard. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you on, mate, really? <laughs> What herb have you been taking? <laughs> I was on holiday until it was rudely interrupted. Hmm. I point my blade, blade at his chin and go, The goblin baby, now. He says, Very well. I mean, he just like motions as if are you going to give him some space. I step back a little bit. The sword, the sword is like when you step back. It's like kill this person. Why are you even waiting? What the actual fuck? 
I just look at the sword and I'm like, in a bit. I'm not saying it out loud, mm. just in my head. Oh, damage. I was going to reply Um And like, the old man, like, while still holding his stomach, um, like, slowly, like, whisks his hand around, like, where the basket's sitting. And he whisps it round and round and round. And then obviously, you start to hear, like, the kind of noises of, like, a kind of yelping kind of child. Um, or like a kind of mewling child. Um, and he, Aww. like, emotions to the basket and he, like, shuffles back quite a bit. Um, I'd be rushing forward. Yeah. Be like, go, there you are. You go there and, yeah, there's a goblin baby. Like, now leave. You have what you want. Leave an old bleeding man in peace. Okay, thanks, bye. Grab the basket, hightail it back out there. Oh, yeah. I'll feel I bad, even though he lied to us. <laughs> and, like, try to help him a little <laughs> that bit. so hard, <laughs> like, being proper patronising. And he was like, yes, it was very, very difficult, I'll have you know. Why was you Why? keeping it a secret? Get out. And then he says that, like, a big kind of blood bubble pops. <laughs> Let me help you. No, do not help him. You have helped. Enough. He gave us what he wa- what we wanted. It's fine. We'll be on Help our him, way. And you are an enemy. Yes, yes. Listen to We're that one. Going away. Anyway, yes. goodness. Oh, go away, Cavill. Come on, let's go. Can okay, I just point? Let's be on our way. You two have turned your back. Yeah. He points like his um his finger like at the like the way he's come in, and it's a straight path out. Leave. I turn to look at him, and I strike to kill him. Right, so you need to Maybe. like, so I was going to say, so dog immediately, because dog hasn't taken his eyes off the situation. He, she, dog, a, yeah, dog. Mm. He, I am, um, before Cavill moves, he's read Cavill already, and he's saying to you, okay, Cavill's going to strike. Oh, um, man. So Cavill's still a good 20 feet or whatever away from them, so you could attempt to interfere with Cavill to stop him trying to do his attack. Uh, what would I do? Literally Call the move it? interfere. Oh. <laughs> oh, Ada interfere. Oh, okay. <laughs> <coughs> cool. Uh, you also get plus one because you have a bond with him. So it's now living. <laughs> cool. And uh, yeah, you can give him the minus two to stop him. So and how is it you stop him? Like, how is it you interfere uh, with him? If that makes sense, like narratively, what is it you do to like cut him off from like running? It. It's okay. I pretty better. much just run in front of the blade. Cool. Yep. So, Cavill, do you want to make your hack and slash with your minus two? I wasn't even. I was looking at it. I didn't want to press Wait, it myself. Okay. Ah, I should have used life drinker. Fuck! I need to do that. <laughs> So, with Life Drinker, it would be a six toll, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Mark experience. <laughs> I've got a lot of XP so far. Cool. Roll your damage. All of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting to it. <laughs> Also, your, your roll does include the addition, doesn't it? Like, it already includes the addition, so... Uh, or the plus one. Oh yeah, so it does. So we're good. Maybe it don't need to roll life drink. Why do we do that? I Maybe it's because I was attacking with life drink. I don't know, right? So that's seven damage, Kitty. Enjoy that. Wow. Yeah, but your armor will reduce it, so... Okay. Unless he has anything on his sword that means it ignores armor, which I don't think it does. No, it's just huge. Messy, forceful. Yes, yeah, so it's like a horrible, like sinister, serrated blade um, that's cut into. So, like, you do actually just like go between this man and like Cavill's like attack. The sword is screaming in your head as soon as you hit her. Um, so, like, yeah, you greening. Screaming. Oh, screaming. Yeah, as if 
If the word incompetence could become a siren, it would be that. It's screaming at you because it doesn't want to kill Kitty, it wants to kill the man. And obviously, Kitty's going to be, so you don't know if the sword's screaming at her or you. <laughs> <laughs> you just know the sword is not happy. Um, the old Do man, I hear the scream? No, because it's all in like sword space between him and... <laughs> I just like kind of put one of my hands to my head and like shut up, sword. Yeah, and then um, so like, what does Kitty do? And she's been like stabbed quite badly, and then looks at him like grabbing his head, like he's having a goddamn episode again, like he usually does with his sword. Well, I guess I'd take it as a good sign that he's not continuing to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And then I'm like, ow. <laughs> you just hear from the back the old man be like, "What's going on?" Why aren't you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for saving your life, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. You're welcome. I thought you I thought you were allied with each other. Well, three of us are allied together. Mm. Well no, technically four of us. <laughs> the fifth one would be the sword. And that just wants to drink so blood. So is the sixth one the baby? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's not allied. <laughs> oh dear. Um, that's, that's just the It's thing. like, take your drama and leave me in peace. <sighs> well, I just sort of Push it, Cavill. Like, come on, let's go. While well, so holding the wound. Sibylla, see when you lifted the baby, did you lift the basket the baby was in? Or just the baby? Yeah. Cool. So, as like you like go to help each other leave, he says, and think of the basket like a gift. Oh. Can I throw my sword at him? Yeah. Thank Don't you dare. Yeah, do you want to volley it? With strength? Oh my god, an idea. <laughs> So, um, what's your strength plus? A two. So that would be... Nine. A nine, yeah. I, cool. So, you need to pick one of those options that isn't the ammo option, because it doesn't <laughs> have... <laughs> no, like anything that's like a thrown weapon doesn't get to pick it like ammo. So, uh, hmm. Take the minus 1d6. Cool. Roll your damage, and then roll the damage against it. So roll your extra damage, merciless. Uh, yeah, I've just got to remove a spell, sir. So. Yep. Right. And okay. Now roll a I d6. Want to, I want to before we roll a d6. I want to re-roll a five. Cool. Yeah. With my human. My God. Cool. There we go. So what was that? Three damage? Yeah. I think, what, five, seven, tick four. Yeah, three damage. Cool. So you throw the sword at the guy, stabs into him. He kind of like falls over with, and you just see like his gold robes flare up briefly as he falls over backwards. Um, and he's like clutching at his chest with his sword stuck out of it, like 20 feet or 50, like maybe like 30 feet away as he slowly shuffled back. Um, what does everybody else do? So is he is he finally like The guy's just fell over going off Cavill? No, Cavill's just thrown thrown sorry, thrown his sword at the man. Can, can can I be like kinda like trying to like nudge Cavill to like get going already? <laughs> of course you can. Definitely not without that sword. Yeah, you definitely don't well, have that's your sword. That's what I'm hoping to achieve. Because the <laughs> idea, I was, I was hoping that maybe Kitty could like make him move at least a few steps back so he gets away from the sword's influence. In the meantime, I could go help the guy. Mm. This is not. This is making my head hurt. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, and you're that one of the few people that doesn't like... have somebody in your head, like a dog or a sword. 
yeah, yeah. And I'd <laughs> no, be she like, has the worst herself. Kitty, can you can you keep him busy for a little while? Don't know what I'm not sure bleeding out. <laughs> kind of just yeah. <laughs> I guess I get the idea of dog to like mm. get in his way. Yeah, and just like noise him up a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I want to get closer to the old man and try to like help him a little bit because he doesn't deserve to die just because he was a bit stubborn. Yeah, right. So he's like lying on the ground, impaled with a sword. You start to approach him, and Kitty and Dog are like blocking you, Cavill. Can I just push through him? Kitty's weakened. Dog won't affect me. You think so? I will Is punch it? your dog. You punch your dog, I'm gonna murder you. So, do you want to... <laughs> so you want to push them, right? Yeah. Do you want to defy danger with strength, and then Kitty, do you want to interfere with the whatever the plus is for dog's help is? Oh. What's doggo's help? Um... I click, don't know what just click that, command what so I can see. Yep. Hang on. Ooh, and it's instinct. Nope. That's if they're interfering with you. So there she's interfering with you, so it's the attack, so it's ferocity. So it's an eight. <laughs> yep. The doggy stop me. Uh, both her and the dog. It's like maybe you try and like go around them or push through them and like yeah, the, the two of them are still like, nah mate. Um, so that's a minus two to your roll, which brings you down to a five, so you get to mark experience. That's your cavil. I <laughs> put 55. <Ooh>. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um... So would would anything happen if when I went to the guy and to heal him, if uh, I happened to touch the sword? I don't know. Do you want to touch the sword? Am I gonna have to touch the sword to get it out? <laughs> yeah, yeah right. that's what I'm thinking. Because <laughs> I can't just cast cure light wounds and then just expect it to pop out. You know, like in those films where the bullet just pops yeah. out and the skin just fixes <laughs> itself. So like, so so you approach right, and like you can hear the guy like. He's still making noise, right? So you know yeah, he's still he's alive, still and he's like lying there with his sword sticking at him. And as like you get closer, like, he's like bloodshot uh-huh. eyes look up at you, and then he sees you like kind of obviously holding the baby in the basket, you know. And he's like, "I'm glad you liked the bread." As he's like oh. lying there with blood trickling down his beard. It's, it's interesting, but let let me heal you first, and we'll talk about the bread later. And now I'll, I'll cast. I'll put the basket down and cast cure light wins on him. Okay. Can yeah. I can I hear her talking this? I mean I don't see why you're not. Also I will just let out a massive Oh, he's roar. not an ally. Does no, that... you need to cast the spell first. Oh shoot, yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. So cast the spell first. Okay, so it's a seven. So do you wanna pick one of the options for me? And weirdly, if it was the top one you were picking, it's only really Cavill that's the danger here right now, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it's probably the the middle or the bottom, but it is your call. I think I'll take the minus one. Fuck it. Yep, cool. So just until you prepare, you get every minus one. That's fine, yeah. Yeah. No, it's up to you. You can keep the roll, but generally I think you should roll after the moves. Um, But it's up to you if you want to keep that roll. I don't mind. In this instance, I just want to give him some help, and I think since I already rolled it, then it's fairer this way because it's not a particularly great roll. And if I were to roll, I might roll better next time, and that would not be. I mean, it's above average. I was gonna say, yeah, it's a pretty good roll. Oh shit! But no, that's yeah. fine. I don't mind. Leave that as is, right? So yeah, yeah. I just want to heal him a bit. I don't want to get mm. him like a hundred percent. I just want to. But he still you know, has a sword doesn't... stuck in him, and it's oh. named Life Drinker. I'll be taking it out so it doesn't drink all of his life. So you're gonna go and pull the sword out as you cast yeah. the spell, I hope. Like you know, one hand glowing, ready yeah, to like yeah, cauterize yeah, yeah. the other, so, like one pulling the sword. Yeah, so that so that it 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 heals like you know. 
Now this, keep in mind, this taxes That's you it. doing this because, like, this is like quite draining on your magic. Now I mean from the oh, minus yeah. one, obviously, the casting yeah. thing. So like, this is like exhausting now. Um, it's it's almost as if healing this target is maybe trickier, right? But it's yeah. maybe because he's magically or was magically protected, right? Um, mm -hmm. and then you pull, you go and like grab the sword, pull it out. I need you to roll defy danger with wisdom. Uh oh. What did I get myself into this time? Yeah. Never touch a sword. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Click the button. The fire danger with what, sorry? Wisdom. Uh huh. Yes, that would make sense. Mark experience. Uh oh. I need you to roll hack and slash. Uh oh. Uh, what are the pluses from the sword? A one? Fuck. Yeah? Uh, plus one damage, yeah. Uh, to the attack roll though? I think this is plus one damage. Okay, so cool. I imagine to the damage roll. That's fine, cool. I, I need you to roll your damage, please. Um, yeah. Not you, sorry. I don't know what my so damage it. was. It's just the button. The damage button. Ooh, the, the d4. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Cool. Right. Cool. So, you pick the sword right up, you pull it out, you heal the guy with your magic, the magic drains you, you start to like shake your head a bit as you're holding the sword, and then you just plunge the sword into the guy again. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sword, I love the sword. The sword, like, you you feel I'm the sorry. sword, like before you can I'm even so say sorry. that, before you say any of this, Sibylla, your mind's washed with the enjoyment of defeating a foe so beneath you. Especially the fact oh, that this shit. foe thought he was better than you, mocked you. He deserves this, and that's what you're washed with. Whether you agree with it, it's up to you. Mm. But that is what that is what you're feeling from the sword. Like, yeah, I'll be thinking. No, he's not beneath me. He makes much bread, much nicer bread than I do. Then you feel bread aside. Finish him. I can oppose this, right? I can do like... You can just not. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll like... I mean, you could just drop the sword. Like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, is it still on him? No, you're, you're holding it, yeah. You stabbed him and just stuck it, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you got the sword? Can I not try to just yank myself back? You can, I mean, you went up, you pulled the sword out, killed the guy, stabbed the guy, you're now holding the sword standing above him. You can just throw yeah. the sword away, it's up to you. Yeah, yeah, like as long as it's not in him anymore, I no, no, you don't want to touch it either. Well, you're holding it, so you can just drop it if you wanted, yeah. Yeah. What are you two doing? What's okay. Kitty and Eric? Uh, it's not Eric, uh, Kitty and Cavill up to? It's you've, not my fault. So, like, you've just seen. Like, the shot would be Kitty and um, Dog stopping Cavill, so they'd have their back to the camera, and then Cavill mm. would have your reaction shot looking past them at what just happened. So, what does Kitty see that makes her turn round? I, I point. Ah, that <laughs> old trick. <laughs> 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 you point and laugh, probably. No, like, I'm pointing, and you can see a big grin. I just sort of turn around, and I, just in time to see us stab him again. I'm like, oh, for God's sake! <sighs> yeah. And she's distracted. Can I go pick up my sword? Push past it. I mean, okay, are you going to pose that anyway? Well, has she literally just dropped it next to her? Or has she chucked it away? Yeah, she's about 30 feet away, right? So you'd have time to interfere if you wanted to, but she's just dropped it and just standing there looking a bit lost, like, oh god, what have I done? God, it really annoys me having such a useless character. Um... <laughs> you can literally cold shot things. Like, also, 
If you take God Amidst the Waste, you can then start doing magic cleric things. Not that you should totally do or blot out the sun where you shoot all your ammo in one attack and hit every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> How dare you slag the ranger, it's one of the best classes in this game. But really it's yeah. wizard, we know it's wizard, let's face it. <laughs> um, Wizard's awesome, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, I'll just try and stop Cavill still. Cool, yep. Um, I think the way Cavill's running this time, Dog's probably too busy going like, why the fuck did she just stab him? So Dog isn't going to be any help at this particular point in time. It's not like able to react quick enough. Uh, do you want to do your Defy Danger with Dex to get around her? And you can roll Interfere against him. Dex, yeah? Yep. That's a plus one, remember, Kitty? So it is a seven. Fuck, why is everyone with rolls today? <laughs> so that is, that is a three, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's still XP, but god damn it, game! Yeah, right. Let me do what I want! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, let me do what I want! No. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I just look at it and I want my blade. You'll get it in a minute when we've healed this Now. Wizard. No. Dog growls. Can I grab the dog's head? I mean, sure. I look, I look at Kitty. I will break its head. I mean, does he actually even get a hold of Doug? Because, like, Doug's gonna snap at him. Yeah, it's only totally, like roll to attack it and stuff. It's not like an auto move. I, it's, I, it's not. I don't like. It's only it's, a threat. I was gonna say yeah, it's posturing, right? At this point, it's not an attack yet. If you kill him, I will kill you. Make no mistake. You hear like the old man going, "Please stop killing each other and just go." Away! I thought you wanted the, the the baby goblin. Why did you stab me? The blade. And he's he's actually just trying to that look. That blade at, says bad things. Why did you stab me? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Please leave. Will you be okay if we leave? I'll be better than if you stayed. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. That's the truth. But you're not going to die, are you? All things die eventually. Yep, good enough for me. Let's go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can I like send Wolf to get the <laughs> Wolf to get oh. the sword? Like, just oh. drag it. It's up to you. Do you want to do that? Now, you yeah. only rolled a 7 on your Aether Interfere, right? Which does mean you expose yourself to danger, retribution, or cost. That is what I was letting Cavill do with Dog. So you're still mm. actually at Cavill's mercy in terms of Dog. That still needs to be resolved. That moment, if that makes sense. So, Cavill, mm. my question to you is, are you moving past Dog? in that moment of you threatening Dog. I will walk past Dog. I don't mean that like, physically, I meant like metaphorically, are we getting past the fact that you're threatening Dog? Can I just throw the Dog behind me? I mean, you can try, right? I mean, what would that be? Uh, mostly it's, it's defy danger, and it, yeah, with strength probably, yeah. Um, yeah, so you pick up dog, bite into it, or it tries to like bite into you, etc. Um, you can throw it, but it's gonna attack you, or you can just kind of like back away. It can attack me. Cool. Um, what's your dog's damage? It does again. Okay. Um. I feel like it's probably just the ferocity, right? So I think you just take three damage. And you, you just minus the armor? Uh, well, minus whatever your armor gives you, because you don't have your shield, remember? Yeah, it's the one. 
We might miss you. Yeah, so it's too, too damage to actually take them. This dog will bite into you. And you just like yep. toss it behind you. Yeah. You just hear as it like hits the ground and rolls a bit. Kitty! <laughs> Would you like to respond? Damn it. Yeah. I mean, I'm still wounded, to be fair, so. Yeah, so like draw your blade, swing at him. Um, yeah, mark XP. I, can I catch it and pull the sword out of my hand and throw it away as well? Yep. With a three, you can. Yes. Then I look at it, I'm going to get my blade. So, Sibylla, you like turn around and you just see like. Is Eric? God damn you and your name. Oh, Cavill, <laughs> pick up the dog. The dog bites him. He throws the dog over his shoulder. Um, dog yelps. And then Kitty like brings out her sword and goes to like, slash at him. He grabs the blade and throws that away as well. Kitty's obviously holding her side wounded as well. And he's stalking towards you. What do you do, Sibylla? I'll be like, what on earth is wrong with you? You're not even holding that sword anymore. Hello? Stop out of it! Just walk toward the blade. They call me crazy. I'll try to get in the way. Yeah. How do you want to get in his so way? That's like physically, like if he stalks towards me, like I move towards him and kind of try to body block him. Yeah. So like she steps over your sword to block you from getting it. What do you do, Cattle? Yes. Yes. Punch you. Well, okay. So um, Sibylla, he's gonna attack you. He just like yeah. reels back and goes to swing do at I... you. What do you do? Defend or aid interfere? How is it? How is this going to work? Because obviously I'm not going well, to just aid Those are. It. It's not those moves. I just want to know what you do because you've got time to react to him punching you because hack and slash isn't a punch. You need a weapon for hack and slash. So yeah. this is more narrative. So he'd be using essentially his fist and not thing else. Essentially, so he's trying to punch damage. you to remove you from being a block between him and his sword. You, you have a chance. Let me think if I have anything. Because if you want to take an action, you can act, ah, or ah, it will be a defy ah, danger ah. in response. Yeah. Can, can I can I try to use prestigitation and make his sword look like a little pebble? Yeah, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's have a look. It does say minor tricks of magic, and if you touch an item, you can make you cosmetic can. changes to it. You want to touch the sword again? Uh, I'm touching it with my foot! Let's Are you still touching it? Let's have a look. Let's see what nonsense we can do with some prestidigitation. Right, so... I'm going to trigger no, tree magic, cosmetic touch Cosmetic changes. Clean it solid, clean it warmer, change its colour, mm. cast spell touching... You can instead create my illusions no bigger than yourself. Yeah, what would happen is you would make an illusion of the ground and a pebble to look like as if you were setting a picture over the top of it because you can yeah. get rid of the sword. Yeah. But you yeah. can just make that area a new illusion. Yeah. Yeah, you I'll, could do that. I'll try to do that. I'll be like, no. Yeah, so you quickly like wave your hand behind you as he's like stalking towards you as you block. So maybe your hands are behind your back so he doesn't see that part. And do you want to roll yeah. your cast a spell? We'll see what happens. Remember, you're at a minus one to this. I know. Pourquoi? I still think it was the smart. No, it's good. I like it. I it's very good. If we had inspiration in this system, I'd probably give you it for that because that's kind of cool. As we're waiting for this, though, a side note: I remember using prestidigitation to fake <laughs> casting a fireball spell at a wizard who was trying to <laughs> counterspell me. Uh, yeah, that's I'm a four. I'm guessing that is a big fail. <laughs> so. You you try and cast this illusion spell. Uh -huh. And yeah, it just makes like a pile of the swords stacked on top of it. Okay. Um, and you get a minus... Uh, so you get one to your XP, sorry. And you can choose one of those options on the the other list. So see the the seven, eight, and nine list. 
for casting a spell. Oh. So it's either another minus one, putting yourself in danger, which again is Cavill, or yeah. or the forgetting Presto until you re-practice your magics. I think I'll forget Presto for now. Yeah, cool. So unprepare Presto. Yeah. And I went, yep, cool. So Cavill, as you stalk towards her, um, I don't know at what point you notice. Maybe you don't. Maybe you deal with her first. I don't know. But you can tell me when you notice that there's a pile of your swords. As I'm walking up to her, ready to hit her, I just see a pile of them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't phase me, so I'm just going to ask the sword to speak to me. Well, really what I'm going to ask is, are you going to finish she... that punch you were starting? <laughs> Is she now or not? Is what, she still in the What's your focus? Yeah, what's your focus now? Yeah, it's because she hasn't moved. She's still in her way. So the scene was you started walking towards him. She goes, hold on, let's talk about this. Come on, you don't even have the sword. Hold on a minute. But really what she was doing behind her back was casting spells. <laughs> and then... Yeah, hey, I'm hitting it. Yeah, okay, it's... cool. Defy danger for me then with uh, however you wish to not be hit. It can be dex, it can be con, if you want to try and like <laughs> glass jaw the thing. Oh goodness, okay. We'll see how badly this goes. I feel sorry for this old man. He's probably going to have you fall on him. <sighs> Do we extra points if I hit a... Uh, Basically, you'll get just... What will happen is you'll essentially just remove her from your path with this move if she doesn't do well with the Defy Danger. So dex or con cool. for me, eh, Sibylla? Damn it. What was that with? Yeah, that's another XP for you. Con. <laughs> yep, cool, yep, more XP, yep. You do not enjoy endure my fist. Uh, do your damage to her though. Ouch. My damage? Yep. Oof. Cool. You Perfect. don't oh, have I've got the blade yet. Well, You're not oh. hacking and slashing. Oh, okay, it's fine. No, it just says when I deal damage. Does it? Yeah. That's the spell I made. It doesn't have the move in it. What's your... Yeah. That would have been you ridiculous if you yeah, gave yeah. 11 with a fist. Yep, so add the... The next lot. Right, so you take 13 damage. Your yeah. your magic will reduce that because it is just damage. So you have three armor, right? Yeah, but is that with his fist only? Yeah. Is that how well he rolled? It's more to do with okay. you kind of jumped at the fist instead of away from the fist, really. Like ah. you saw, I, I can take this, but then you maybe didn't realize how hard he can hit. And he's an armor, so yeah. punch. I don't... I'd have thought a punch would have been like a d4 or something. That's why I was like, how the hell did he roll an 11? I thought he just made a mistake there. Okay, so, um, yep, so my you will... armor is one, and then I have two from the other thing. Exactly, yeah. So I negate three of that, which still leaves me with ten, which still kills me, I think, because I'm at nine damage, and this is giving me ten. Let's find out. So, if you're at nine, yeah. So, we'll deal with that now. So, Cavill punches you, right? You go down. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Fall down. We hear the baby cry. And then, mm. we need to roll another move now. So, do you want to bring up special moves for me? I guess. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, last breath. Yeah, that's where we're going. Last breath. Zoom this in so I can actually read it. So, this is like the death save move. So we get a 2d6 roll, right? And I'll talk you through this. Okay. So on a 10 plus, sure. you've cheated death. You're in a bad spot, but you're still alive. On a 7, 8 or 9, death himself will offer you a bargain. Take it and stabilize, or refuse and pass beyond the black gates into whatever fate awaits you. On a six or less, your fate is sealed, you're marked as death's own, and you'll cross the threshold soon. The GM will tell you when. So, you're about to meet death. <laughs> Roll 2d6. Hope for big numbers. Okay. <sighs> nope. Oh goodness, okay. So, the fist comes swinging at you, right? Full force. The punch connects, and you're standing there like it just passed through you. 
You kind of slowly turn uh -oh. and you see your body fall to the ground. As Sibylla hits the ground, like you're still standing there, like in kind of spectral form. Yeah. The body falls, and as it hits, there's this thud, like a you know a big, almost like a gong noise that like yeah. smashes out the sound. As that smashes, out, all the color vanishes from everything around you, and for a second, you see standing above the sword this white wispy figure. Uh, they look very kind of thin and lithe and kind of like hollow and they turn and look at you like with disgust and then they say you should have finished him when you could and then he fades away and then you see in front of you this black cloaked figure and it just extends a hand to you and it says Sibylla Treebark your time has come I'm time? What time is it? I've actually not looked at the time in a long time. I don't know how long we've been here for. Oh goodness! And you look around, it's and that you can't. Very late, and we need to. Yeah, because it's dark, right? You look around, you can't really see anything because it's dark. Yeah. So... And I'm like, oh god, we should have been camping already. We've wasted a lot of time here, haven't we? And the figure. And you know, just ranting. As yeah, usual. and like as you say that, like we've wasted a lot of time here, haven't we? And the figure says, "Yes, unfortunately, all of your time is now." at an end. Join me. And it obviously extends its kind of bony hand back out to you. I'll, I'll look at him and be like, oh my god, your poor little hands. I can heal them. I can make them better. And you just, like, you can feel the entity smile back at you. But there's <laughs> no, like, words or anything. There's just this, like, nothingness between you. Yeah. I think it's finally starting to dawn on her, I'll be like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, goodness, who's gonna take care of the, the boblin now? <laughs> and I just, like, begrudgingly start moving wherever he's leading. Yeah, and, like, he puts, like, an arm around you as you seem, like, needing consoled. And, um, like, the cloak kind of, like, almost envelops you, eh? Uh, and then you just hear the kind of the big deep voice kind of rumble back out, James Earl Jones style, saying, Come, I'll show you the fate of the little one. And you just wander off oh. into the black mists. Cool. So, on that note, what does Kitty do? Well, I go check my dogs, all right. Yep, so you run over to dog, pick up your sword. <laughs> You've got your sword and your dog back. Yep. Gavel, yep. as well. I have picked up my sword and I am going to stab the old man. So you pick up the sword and then you hear the entity again that you're all so familiar with. And it says, Oh, you're still alive. Of course. It takes a lot to kill me. And this old man, it seems. Finish the job. Of course, that is why I'm back. You feel its eyes rolling. <laughs> I'm rolling my eyes at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you do? Both of you, what do you just do? Oofed, so you go for the old man. What do you, Kay? I just... I don't give a shit at the minute. <laughs> I'm just concerned about my dog. Yes, yeah, so you look after Doggo. Your dog seems fine. It just was like, kind of a bit winded, right? Because it's not really yeah. graceful being tossed over a shoulder. Um, remember, you can expose yourself to an attack here and do more damage if you want. Nah, he's, he's dead. I don't think he's got 13 HP. <laughs> I'll ask again. You, If you wish, you can expose yourself to damage. Or you can hold back your choice. The sword God, will remember this. The sword's going to be really pissed off. I mean, no, fuck it. I mean, I'll expose myself. God damn it. Too <laughs> <laughs> big sword, I know it take control of me, even if I didn't crumble. You built your character this way. I know. Uh, <laughs> That's why I love it so much. Right, okay. I need you to do a d10. D10, son of a bitch. Cool. That's fine. Cool. 
you take three damage that can't be mitigated by armor. It's um, like the last bit of like golden fire he flicks up off of his robes at you. Um, as like this kind of like almost weakened hand comes up as he sees that look in your eyes as the sword's in your hand, and then it just kind of like whimpers like, no, and then like this, like the fire like glows and burns, and you just like push through it and stab at the guy and do something ridiculous like eighteen damage to him. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. On that Casual. note, you stab the man. He lets out that kind of death rattle whimper. Uh, the tower appears instantaneously where it obviously was um, just like with a kind of thud of the magic popping off of it um, they've got that kind of like ringing in your ears thing and the entire maze disappears there was no hedges at all it was just barren ground around this tower the little garden area was still there but that was it and the baby goblin vanishes. I knew it was fake. And, uh, yeah. I think we end that session there. Because, mm. like, you just turn around and there's just this white tower looming over you. And one of your party is dead. Yep. And no baby. Well. So, let us do our ending moves then, right? So. Here we go. Where are we? End of session. At the sorry, when you reach the end of session, choose bonds that you feel. So let's go through the list. Cattle. Let us go through your bonds. <laughs> well, Kitty, I have sworn to protect. Well, I don't think I did that. I think I no. did the opposite of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna Stiller. I'm gonna give you this one for obvious reasons. Should I read it out? Oh. Yeah, go read Oh, it. this one, Sibylla. Mm -hmm. Sibylla owes me their life, whether they admit it or not. Well, she paid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She paid her life. Take... I, th I think that bond's fulfilled. Take one XP and get rid of that bond, please. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> However, that is you for now. I don't think protecting Kitty is a possibility anymore. No, I don't either. Not after that. I think that needs to become a different bond. Yes. Don't you, Kitty? Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll note that for next time, right? I'll um, put in brackets change. Yeah. Um, Sibylla, let's have a look at your bonds. <laughs> right, so... Cavill will play an important role in events to come. I have foreseen it. I would say you played the most important role in your life. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Yeah, I guess. Yep. I want you to mark XP separately, right? I need you to note this down okay. separately. Because I'm going to let you carry this onto your new character. Okay. So you're not getting the four from Sibylla? That's dead. It's gone now, right? Yeah. But you can get the one from that so far, right? Mm hmm. Um, I think the kitty one's probably not relevant anymore. No. Cool. Um, so come up with a new bond for your new character next time. We'll sort that out, right? Mm hmm. Okay. And kitty bonds. Um, well. I guess I'll get rid of the... I have guided mm. Sibylla before I know yeah. me for a while. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Slowly drags her through forest. Tree! Um. No, he wanted them alive. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, how are, how is Katie feeling about Cavill? I, I mean, mean, he still doesn't understand life in the wild. Yeah. Um, but I'm Don't attack your life. allies! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I'm less in inclined to teach him, mm. but, uh... Yep, that makes sense. I think that's no longer relevant, and we can maybe work on a new bond. If you choose to continue that particular story, but we'll talk about that in a second. So we need to kind of change that. Right, alignments now, okay? So, back up to Cavill. Killer defenseless or surrendered enemy? I'm pretty sure he surrendered. <laughs> um... 
Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. Like, it wasn't really... It was kind of surrendered, right? He was asking us to leave after I hit him once. To me, he surrendered. Like... Actually, no. You don't actually qualify for the XP for that. The reason is... He could still attack you at any point during that, even in the end he attacked you. So at no point was he weakened. And you didn't have him at your mercy, if that makes sense. Because he wasn't uh, surrendered. This would be like if you had a guy tied up uh, and completely defeated, and you still killed him anyway, even though there was no need to. That's yeah, where you're he definitely, like, definitely wasn't defenseless, because he yeah. hit back. So it's like, it'd be different if he'd have been like neutered in some way and tied up and whatnot by you guys but no so I don't think it actually does qualify for that yet um, but we were close to that let's face it uh, Sibylla your alignment uh, yes take XP good yeah, use magic to with to death now <laughs> uh, good use magic to directly aid another so yeah yay you get that uh, so that yep. should be two you're on now yep. and kitty well, help an animal or spirit of the wild. Didn't really. Like, if there had been like a role regarding dog, when if the like, cavil had actually attacked dog or something, maybe. Yeah. But um, at this point, no, not yet. Um, no. That's okay. No, we've done alignments. Did we learn something new and important about the world? The area we was in was a complete illusion. Yeah, ever to take a point of XP for that? Did we overcome a notable monster or enemy? That was it. Hit as hard. Yeah. Come on. Yep. Ever to gets a point of XP. Yeah, can level again. Maybe Sibylla takes the XP for Cavill being the notable enemy, but that's not the point. She did um, overcome. And, she um, succumbed. Did we loot a memorable treasure? No. No. No, that'll be the beginning of the next episode. <laughs> when we so, loot the shit out of that tower. So, how is everybody for XP? I'm on nine. I am four. <laughs> Fucking five. <laughs> nine. Yeah, I can level up again. <laughs> so, what we'll do is, next time, we'll obviously get Adri to make a new character. Um, mm -hmm. You can pick from any of the classes obviously, that are there. Um, I don't really think it's going to be super crucial if he's double up or not. I just don't think he's want to be yeah. doubling up on classes. So try and diversify, but I'm not going to break the sweat if he's mm -hmm. have three fighters. It's just the game doesn't want that. But he can do yeah. it like. Um, and we can build that at some point before whenever our next session of our filler arc is. Um, we'll add Sibylla to the list of fallen heroes I actually killed Yay. by the party. Um, <laughs> Chalk up, play a kill count. Whoa. Yeah, right. What are we calling this session? Because I feel like it needs a more apt title now. Yeah. One punch. No. <laughs> One punch, man. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> to be fair. I won't punch her. Come on. <laughs> it's one hit. Go on. KO. Next. Oh. I feel bad for killing your character because I know you loved it. This is, but, when, this is when she just makes Sibylla 2 electric boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> Swear to God. What? <laughs> Sibylla 2 what? electric boogaloo. The second wizard. <laughs> so hopefully this one isn't ditzy. Mm. Oh, the ditziness went into the first one. But I like playing ditzy characters. Yeah. They're fun. Um, They're irritating. <laughs> I don't know. I think possessed people are more irritating when you can't talk reason to them. All right. So I guess we're we calling it one punch knight then, or something like that. Something stupid like that. Yeah. That <laughs> one punch cavil. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've actually got one fight because I'm an idiot. One punch. Cavil dark punch. Or dark fist. Oh. Okay. Calm yourself, boy. So, uh, yeah, I feel like everybody's okay with one punch cavil, yeah? Yeah. Cool, we'll go with that. Um, so, why don't we start with Adri and you tell us how you feel how this session went and how this game of nonsense is going so far. Well, 
Nonsense does seem to be a bit of an operating word here because sometimes I don't quite know how to deal with some <laughs> things happening. Um, people being possessed by their weapons. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, that's uh, obviously quite uh, quite interesting. And I generally try to, like in hindsight, I probably should have tried to be more on the offensive and less on the, you know, mm -hmm. trying to stop him and reason him. Like, I had a few offensive spells I totally could have done, so... But yeah, I was something nice to add as well. It. See if you ever play a wizard again. Not that I think your yes. next character should be a wizard again, but if you do decide to, spell defense is a move wizards get where if you have an ongoing spell, which you didn't have, which is why I never brought it up at the time. If you have an ongoing yeah. spell, you can dismiss the spell to use that as like a way of mitigating damage. Again, it wouldn't have mattered with the maths of this one because I think it was ten damage. Uh, and you only yeah. nine health, so even if you did have a spell ongoing, it would only be level one, and then it would obviously only Still take away. Still be nine damage, yeah. But it is something to keep in mind um, if you ever yeah, play a wizard again. It's good if you've got like a level five ongoing spell, because that's five damage you're ignoring by just pulling the spell off of you and using the magic from yeah. it to block. It's a really good move. Um, however, yeah, first player death in this, right? It's um, damn. It's good. I'm always going to do that though with the XP. See the overflow? It doesn't just get mm -hmm. wasted. I won't, like, the, the stored till now stuff doesn't count, but the, the end game stuff definitely counts. Because um, I feel like that's the kind of commiseration prize, really. Because you got, what, four mm -hmm. from the end, didn't you? Yeah, four in the end. Yeah. And you had four already up to that point, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think yeah, it definitely it's the ending stuff you'll get as the end of the session. Yeah, I think that's the fairest way to do it. Um, what we might start doing if this becomes a more regular thing, because it seems to be going fairly well already. Um, we'll talk about what I do for my other group with this, where those three questions at the end, see the ones that the group get XP for. What I do is I let the party decide if they want to take their XP or bank it all as a group XP. So, mm. if people die, they can then power level them. So that is an option. Okay. So, for example, your alignment you can't give away, your bond you can't give away, but those three specific questions at the end, if use three had all survived and then decided to bank it, it would put 15, oh sorry, not 15, 9, sorry, I can't do math. It would put 9 points into your XP bank. Okay. And then that way... They could, in theory, just have dumped 9 XP on your new character, if that had been a thing. So, oh. we might look at that, depending on how things go, because it's a way of mitigating potential character losses, but then, when Cavill kills all the characters, we need to have a way of taking out Cavill, right? And Cavill becomes the end boss, so... Oh my god! I mean, it might happen, right? <laughs> we don't know. The, 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 steel, the steel rich mercenaries gives you a contract. Something else for the two Cavill. of you as well. We might not continue the story with Cavill and obviously Kitty. You might want to make different characters. You can let me know if you want to or not. It's up to you. I don't mind if you want to continue with them. But you two might, as in Kitty and Cavill, might not work well together now. So that's an interesting thing you can decide for next time. And we can make some characters then. Uh, right, Eric, Cavill, and Ooh. Callum. <laughs> <laughs> Just all of them. Yeah. It's bad. I did not mean to kill her. That's a bit oof. <laughs> he says having taken character. He says having took Merciless while leveling up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> if I didn't take Merciless, she would have lived. Like, ooh, shit. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, it's, I guess it's in fitting with the theme of the character, right? You are a bad man. Yeah, yeah I'm, I am evil. Mm. So it's... Also, Sibylla got to see the sword spirit. Indeed, Indeed, she cannot allow, be allowed to. That might have just like drove Cavill to kill her, because she uh, touched the sword, and he watched the sword take effect. He does not want competition. I also mean when she died, though, like she got to speak to it. It was like yeah. you should have killed him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. You should have Cavill. Supposed to show sure the sword doesn't give a shit about Cavill. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it was happy for you to do the the work. I mean, it's almost it's like it just cares about blood. Yeah, right. <laughs> and its own glory. So good. 
Um, anything else you want to add, Callum? Um, is it possible to loot uh, dead players if we if I carry on with Cavill? If we zoom back in and then, yeah, it is. 100%. Cool. Yep. So we can talk about that next time um, for equipment. And I such. know that sounds dead douchebaggy, but I don't want to waste loot. I know I just killed your character, but I kind of want to loot your body. I know that sounds bad, but, you know, <laughs> it's what my it's character so would do. <laughs> what my character would do. Uh, I know that's what your character would do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, Goldilocks. Um, right. Uh, Sophie. Your dog survived. Yeah, that's all I cared about that entire time. It was like, no, it's going to be in danger. Protect the doggo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd rather take the damage than the... Yeah, uh, that was good. Because um, I only have like one HP Actually, or no, take extra XP, sorry. You did step in the way of the damage for your dog. Twice? So, you only get your alignment once. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Fine. You're, you're... I just have to log back in. So, you can get an extra XP for that. That does make sense. Um, like, I'm probably going to call BS on that every time. It's only when it's in a really bad way for you because A, you'll get XP for failing anyway, and B, it's not a wild animal really anymore. No. But I'll give you this time because I'm nice. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> um... But that, that you could have just let it, you know, go down, so you didn't. That was nice of you. Um, yeah, anything else you want to add? <laughs> Besides dog? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. My character didn't really react at all to uh, what's her name dying. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, you were too busy dealing with dog, and now, yeah. now you know dog's fine, you might be like, did you just kill our wizard? So, uh, hmm. Yeah. I mean, did we see the entity take her spirit or? No, all that was for Sibylla alone. That was just. You yeah. just saw him punch her and her hit the deck. Yeah. So, as far as I'm aware, she's not dead. Oh, no, <laughs> she like, could just be knocked out. I mean, yeah. Or you mean, see like, her jaw leave her face. <laughs> like, it's probably. It is probably that bad because let's face it, he is merciless, so it is probably pretty yeah. grim. Probably looks like Raziel from Soul Reaver, so. I imagine a neck twisted and snapped. It's just it's just not good. It's not good at all. Um She's in a better place now. I think we can all agree Sibylla is better off not next to Cavill. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's a mean machine. Literally yeah. a fighter machine. Um Yeah. Anything else you want to add, Sophie? No. No. S still no fourth or forward with the baby goblin. Either. Um, At this point, we can give up with a baby goblin. <laughs> I was literally thinking the same thing. Like, do we actually care anymore? I love the idea of like, you just like busting in the tower, reading through it, going, "Cool, we need to find the baby goblin." And all of a sudden, going, "Wait a minute! Actually, we don't. We can just leave." <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> take the loot and go. Wow. <laughs> I know, right? Horrible people. We ate there. his bread. We killed him, and we're not even taking the thing that we came there for. <laughs> It's so bad that you're at horrible people. In the process. I know, they are. Um, also, we will probably be talking about your alignment depending on your upcoming actions, Sophie, just so you know. Okay. Like, <laughs> so far I'm with you on everything you've done. Upcoming, given what's likely to need to be discussed if we stick with these two, yeah. They'll need to be discussions. Um, whatever happens, though, we'll need to regroup Right? So, I don't just want these two wanderers wander out of the woods and come find you. It, it'll be like, you just yeah. go back and get well-known adventurers that you will have bonds with. So, yeah. We'll be abridging a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm done here. This was mad fun, as always. Um, anything <laughs> else you want to add before we say goodbye? No. Rip, rip the bill. Okay, so anyone that's listened so far... <laughs> now, um, go watch... The Keepers of the Golden Gate session 33, I think it is, that will be uh, probably uploaded by the time anybody watches this. So we're going to go do that tomorrow. So time travel with us. Okay, thanks. Bye, everybody. Woo!
Bye. Bye.